Hey there, my lumpies and germs. I was saving a burp for this intro, but I thought I wouldn't punish you with that because we just started. That would be a horrible way to start. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Ah, Super Vegito 007, 50 bits right out the gate. Thank you so much. Um, Caddy, quick fact. They're using the old voice lines from the original game. Also, Murder Man's Vast Style departed away in 2012, so they couldn't get him back even if they wanted to. Okay, well, first of all, um, someone said that in the first part. And, um, yeah, I, that still doesn't mean that Mr. Krabs' impression is shit, because it is. Um, oh my god, Gerard's here! And he's gifted, like, five subs! Hey, dude, how's it going? I just saw my, my, my notifications went off, like, a few seconds ago, um, for Discord. I will get to you when I can, my man. Thank you for coming down, and thanks for those gifted subs. Very kind of you. Um, and Damien cast away 5,000 bits. Hello, Caddy. I might start off today with a small donation of bits. Very small. I see what you did there. Because it's not very small a time. It's a time? I can't talk because of the time. Um, LB the actor, 50 bits. Which version of Battle for Bikini Bottom would you prefer? I don't know. I've never played the original. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't think I could go back to... If you've got this, why do you need the original? It looks... it. It's everything that you need and more. Oh dear, 100 bits from MemeCat009, hello caddy. Greta Smithology has subbed, and so has Gadget Ghastly and Blaney Redcat. Enjoy using those emotes and everything, guys. Thank you so much. 333 bits from Soaking Wet, nice to see you again. Hi, hope you're doing well, keeping yourself moderately moist, I hope. Um, if you mean sweat-wise, yeah. Um, I've been a sweaty Betty today. Um, it hasn't been fun. It hasn't been fun at all. I've been very sticky. Been struggling to when you're struggling to get t-shirts off, you know that it's not a good day. Um, and that's I didn't have Betty Swallocks, no, it was mostly the top half of my body. But anyway, should we carry on with some more battle little full bikini up my bottom? Let's do this. Ah, hopefully, this is gonna work out. It's freaking awesome. 100 bits. Thank you so much. Hey, Caddy, a friend of mine said I should say this to you on stream. Not sure what it means though. Shag me ass. You should probably Google that. Uh, <laughs> we've got a subscription for Star Wars Ninja 29 and Peyton Bishop. Thank you so much. 300 bits from Moon Sprite. Oh god, no, no, no. Continue, continue, continue. Continue, continue, continue. Sorry, Twitch, I didn't mean to... I had to do that because when I uploaded the first part of this playthrough to my YouTube channel, um, um, I got copyright struck on it for the Spongebob theme. So I have to skip past that intro and make lots of weird noises to, um, distort it so that YouTube can't tell what I'm doing. Oh my goodness gracious. Anyway, who's ready for 30 minutes of stream problems, says Iron Ninja. Yeah, keep your bits to yourself, man. Um, oh, that's, that's very kind of you. Um, Damien Castaway, 300 pits. Remember to hydrate yourself today. Don't dehydrate, please. Consume your calcium and dunk. <laughs> Did you spell that wrong? Dunk plenty of milk. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's a good idea to do a lot of dunking when it's hot outside. I don't know, what do you guys think in the chat? I'm not sure. Uh, Mad Hatter Cecius, 50 bits. Hey Caddy, query, have you ever rewatched a clip of yourself and realised you sound a lot better than you thought when you were recording? No. If anyone th likes the way they sound when they're recording, singers, actors, theatre people, anything, then they are, they're up their own asses. That's just, that's just facts. Anyway, we're going to downtown Bikini Bottom because we've got enough spatulas to go there because that's how taxis work in this world. We have to give them um, spatulas as the fare to go to all these different locations, I suppose. Thank you, Charl Kuti, for the 100 bits. It's your cootie named Charles. Uh, 100 bits, Harper Onions. I've been playing this now, ju just now, actually. Cool, now you get to watch someone else play it worse. Oh, look, it's Mrs. Pump. How are you doing? She's not pumping up just yet, so she hasn't lived up to her namesake just yet. But give it time. Thanks for the 200 bits, Damon Castaway. There's 200 bits are uh, fame. Oh, sh Wait, these are 200 bits are shame for my failure to spell drink. I thought it was funny. I like drinking. 130 bits from Spartan Gamer. Thank you so much. Good luck with SpongeBob and fingers crossed no more trouble with the stream. I think I've got it sorted now. Wow, take that line out of context. Did, did, did Spongebob vote for Brexit? That won't do any good. Ah, oh, no. See? That was Cor she's Corbin in this situation. Why not? Because the 
robots have taken all the steering wheels. Oh, that's why. It's got nothing to do with immigration policies. It's all about the... It's the robots stealing the steering wheels. That's why we're getting immigrants in the UK. That's why. Couldn't we just drive in a straight yeah, line? Couldn't we just drive no, in a straight line, Mrs. Too Pump? Turns. There's too many turns. Well, I'm sure we've got enough life those jackets. Teams, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Pop. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. <laughs> I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. Well, that's there's a text issue right there. I'll give you a golden spatula. I've never heard of a golden spatula, but I'll okay. Have a driver's license instead. Thank you so much for the resubscription, Shadow Dragon Axe. Will this be a part of the SpongeBob collage gaming video? How do you mean by that? I don't know what you mean by that. 100 bits, Bromo Rangers Go. Ever wonder how Mrs. Puff really got her name? No, but I'd wonder if it was Mrs. Pump. I would wonder that. Soaking wet, 100 bits. This early access to Crash version, this version of Crash 4 looks really weird, mate. Nice. Job. Not as weird as the actual Crash 4, I can tell you that much. Damien Castaway back at it again with the 1,000 bits. They took the steering wheels. Is that why Caddy's mind is off track? Yeah, most likely. And looking at um, Streamlabs again, we seem to be running at 30 FPS. <laughs> I don't understand these problems. I guess it's. I guess it will fix itself. Whoa, hello, we're rolling. Hang on, why did that happen? Why did... what? Why? What's going on? Did I miss something? Oh, why did I walk into a thing? Oh... Oh, there's a th oh, okay. Sometimes pushing a simple button is right, so you need to roll push, through push, there. Push, I got you. Alright, let's get all the steering wheels. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, Corio HD. Sorry, I got to deal with some robot puppy fuckers. Um, thank you. So that's very kind of you. Followed you since 2014. Keep up the gone the great content. I will still watch. Thank you so much. Really sorry that you've joined in while the stream is running half the fucking speed it should be. Still need to work that out. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Very annoying. I know a lot of people don't mind, but I really do, and I can see it in the corner of my eyes. It's... I don't know how to fix it, honey. Like it's like, if you, well, come over here, you'll see what I mean. You'll see on my computer screen, honey. Like a new sponge. Yeah, that's how it's looking to everybody else. It really shouldn't be looking like that because, as you can see on the telly, it's looking really smooth and really lovely. So, oh, fuck it. It will, it will sort itself out. Unless there's anyone in the stream that's really, really good at fixing stream problems. Oh, look. It's Drunk Lips again. Yeah, she winks. She struts She struts around in her heels and she winks. And <laughs> I don't know if she's a prostitute fish. Maybe she is. But either way, SpongeBob is hungry. <laughs> Uh, I like it when you wink at me. Uh, um, sorry, we're, we're, I'm missing all the bits. Oh, we've got Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 is epic, not Rectum. 100 bits. It is I, Rectum. My brother had this on GameCube, so it's lovely to see it like this. Yeah, not with this stupid fucking frame rate. I'm sorry about the frame rate, everybody. I, I will, I will figure out what the problem is at some point. It's really annoying me, even if it doesn't annoy anybody else. Because it makes it look like the game's running like shit, and it's really not. It's running really well. Um, so, oh, Jesus. We've got 500 bits from Damien Castaway. Jesus Christ, he's up to, off to a ridiculously expensive start. Um, question to everybody. Oh, two hits! Question to everybody. Are you a Taco or Burrito fan? Both? If I can't pick one, uh, I guess uh, Burrito. If I had to pick one. I remember having a Burrito on uh, in London one time on a like one of those side streety bits like those pop-up um, um restauranty bits and it was really good um blaney red cat has gifted five subs very 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 kind of you oh yeah those are the those are the sneaky ones aren't they which i discovered in the last part you don't actually need to sneak with in order to get what you need Love opening presents. Cha -ching! so how do we get up these then do we start here yeah, there we go. Up on the lamp. There we go. Oh. That was quick. Oh, hang out. Oh, I see. Right. I feel like a new sponge. Well, why why is why is there a cannon firing sinks at me? 
It's firing everything in the kitchen sink. I just got that. Fucking hell. Is this game my grandparents? Actually, no, because my grandparents aren't very funny. <laughs> they, they don't they don't joke, so that might that might be actually more accurate than No! I can't go up there. How do I f What? How do I get up there? I guess I've just gotta I I don't know. Maybe I learn a new ability? Oh no, I just gotta have the kitchen sink aimed at me. Okay. I just gotta hope it hits. Right, okay. Right, we've got some switches here. There we go. Damien Castaway. More bits. A thousand bits. Jesus Christ. Oh, look. They finally outlined the edge of the play area so you're not just guessing. I mean, yeah, you're right. But that's just for this area. And um, the rest of the areas we went to were... Um, yeah, it's not necessarily the edge of the playing area I have a problem with. It's the... Um, it's the verticality because you'll su you'll see items in places which are higher and lower than you, but they're not exactly on the screen properly. It's it's really annoying and really weird. Like you'll 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 be you'll be high up on a cliff or something, then you'll look down and see some collectibles that are on a couple of other platforms below you. So you'll jump on them, but then one extra tiny step below that is then when the game decides you're out of bounds with no indication. And then you lose all your progress from that point onwards, and that's the end of that. Which sucks. Uh, one chop, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Nice to see you again, Ben. Um, don't know how different slobs is from OBS, but could changing your video source from display capture to window capture do anything? I'm not sure. It might do. That's a good idea. Should we tr should we give it a go? I know I know. There's all those people in the stream that love seeing technical problems. Let's see if this works. Um, alt Alt Tab. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. right. Let's see if this. Let's see if we can get this working. Did Did One Chop come up with a good idea? Aside from animating Asduf, which is pretty good. So if we... Properties. Okay, I've told it to only capture one display, so I don't think that works. Ah, fuck it. Uh... If we get rid of it, I'm going to remove it. So it will go away, but don't worry. Do I want to remove display capture? Yeah. Oh, it's red. Okay, let's um add in a new source. And you can't see anything that I'm doing right now. Um, window capture. That might be better than... Is there a display cap? Yes, there's a window capture and a display capture. The, yeah, he is in, he's indeed right. Okay. Add source. Window capture. Add source. So I can stream my settings if I want to, which is, um... <laughs> that's... There you go. <laughs> Behind the scenes of streaming, everybody. Capture. Um... Windows graphic? No, fuck that shit. Um... We want to capture SpongeBob. We don't want it that big. What the fuck? I don't... No! What are you doing, you stupid stream? No! I'm I'm dead. Come on, get down. Overlay. Eh? Oh my god, that's even worse. Okay, no, 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 no. Go back, go down, go down. Down, 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 down. Hey, there we go. Um, So now I just need to adjust the size, which shouldn't be too difficult. Squeeze it in there. Um, hold control to move it freely around. Isn't this exciting? And then we just make sure it's as nice and proportionate as it can be. I think that's pretty much as good as we're going to get. Right, well, let's see if that makes a difference. It's not capturing my mouse, which is a little bit weird, but I guess that doesn't really matter, does it? Um, now, let's. I need to delay it, um, which is quite annoying. Unless I don't need to de delay it. No, I'll delay it just in case. Um, filters. Add a filter. No, we want to do a render delay by 150 milliseconds. 
There we go there. Great. Oh, God, thanks for all the support, guys. Oh, okay, someone's been doing a little bit of research. Oh, God, well, um, okay, we've got Ratchet Extreme 6, 50 bits. Hey, Caddy, thanks for, no, no, thanks for coming down. Nice to see you again. Just wanted to ask what's the weirdest collectible you own, whether it's from a movie, show, and or game. Weirdest collectible. I've got, like, a, a, a button that when you press it, it quacks, and I got that from when Duck Game came out. Then someone just sent it to me. So that's probably the weirdest thing. Inflim 100 bits. From a quick search, it's V-Sync that causes the FPS to stream at 30. If the game stutters under 60 with it on, then your stream will go to 30. I don't know. I don't exactly know what you mean there because if I'm like if I turn V-Sync off, it will screen tear. But it's not stuttering for me. So I don't know what I don't know what you mean there, but um I we'll, we'll we'll keep experimenting until we figure it out. 500 from Damien Castaway, the red, and another 500 from Damien Castaway, um, stream difficulties level 2, electric boogaloo, it's thick and awesome, 95 bits, so I think I should leave out of embarrassment from the beginning, especially find out what I said means, sorry about that caddy, here's my last bits as an apology, <laughs> considering what you said, and now you're telling me to take your bits, you're not helping yourself, <laughs> Dredge and Bongo, 200 bits. Greetings all, just dropping in for a quick minute while I can. I uh, got busy, uh, bloody bloody blah, blah, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I didn't mean to say bloody bloody blah, blah. I could, it, it was just like, you didn't write that. I'm refreshing that. Yeah, okay, so, my events list fucked up, and it just came out as like, so that's why I said blah de blah de blah. I thought you were trying to do emojis or something, and it was coming up as plain text on my screen. It wasn't. It was just glitched out text, so now I can read it properly. Greetings all. Just dropping in for a quick minute while I can. Busy night of studying and hanging out with a military friend while he's in town. May the stream be fun and free of caddy pal. Pal problems, yeah. Ah, uh, thank- well, well, I don't think that's the problem. This- that's a console thing. Um, Cooper Trooper, 100 bits, thank you so much. Switch language to Japanese and talk to Planton. I'll do that at the end, if you're nice to me. 50 bits, of course I came back to the stream problems. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, anyway, let's see if this has improved the matter. Right, I nearly hit stop there, that would have been embarrassing. It's not working. Okay. Why is that? Let's figure it out. Oh my lord. Okay. We now... I think I pressed the wrong thing. Wait a sec. I think, yeah, one shop, I think you're right. I think I told it to cut... No, I'm telling it, I'm telling it to capture Spongebob. That's what I'm telling it to capture. Everybody, blame Benjamin. Everybody, turn on one chop. Because do you know what happened? I did exactly what he said. I clicked on the SpongeBob EXE window, which was already selected. It just wasn't reading it. So when I told it to select it again, the whole thing crashed. Everything broke. Ben, stick to animating stick figures. You're good at that. You can't stream. <sighs> what? No, I haven't lost the game. I lost everything that was going on here. Fucking hell. Okay, well, that was exciting. Um... <laughs> and now the sound's gone. <laughs> no, it's still here. Okay. Um, did it even... Did it even... It, I bet it's still... Now it's going at 60 again, and now there's a big SpongeBob hand on the screen. Fuck. No. No, that's not what we want. Okay, right. Okay, I think we're just going to have to go with a slightly iffy stream, right? Oh, he's doing the meme. Yeah, okay, we're going to have to go for a slightly iffy, like, performing stream today, and then I'm just going to need to work out what the problem is after that, because I have no idea what that shit was about. Anyway, how is it going, everybody? We need to go and... 
Damien Castaway, 200 bits. The Krabby Patty secret formula was Milik all along. That was a thing to come back to. And another 300 bits. Welcome back to hell, I mean streaming. Sorry that you've come off of the, the, off of the um, the cheerleader board. I'm really sorry that you, that happened. Um, I, I, I can't make up any reason for that. It just resets. I'm sorry. Well, at least that's a second notification to anybody that missed the first one on their emails or something. I don't know. We we did it. Yeah, if if people look like that while living here, I'd want to kill them too. Oh God. Oh my god. Right, let's let's keep going then. Let's see what we can find. It shines. Thank you for 100 bits, 32 bit Bailey. Ask that fish why the long face. Just for that, I am never going to read anything you say ever again. Can I make it up there? Uh, 45 bits for my ninja. Thank you so much. 100 bits in flim. Start off the stream bits, Kappa. I'm guessing that's a thing. I don't I don't know. I can't see from here. Oh my god, you don't need to... Uh, thank you so much for the bits, Damien Castaway. I lost a bet to Winflim about what caused your disconnection problem. Oh, okay, well that's a completely separate issue then. Okay, so we need to jump on these guys. Don't feel the need to keep on donating because of, like, the fact that your name isn't on the screen anymore. That's my fault. I don't know what the hell happened there. Thanks, class, for the resubscription. I don't know why you resubbed after I vanished, but there you go. Hey, Kelly, how's it going? I was just about to say that I was happy to catch one of your streams, but then, you know, here's hoping there's no more issues. Fingers crossed. Thank you, Anthony Gamer UK, for the gifted sub. Very kind of you. Oh, shit. 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 Right. Let's continue on. Hmm, so can I jump on this? No, I can't. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so let's get these things. Okay, I was going to say, why didn't you reach that? That's the only thing that move is for at the moment. There we go, we made it up here. Oh, we got a Texas thing. That is Texas, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the Texan flag. Oh, it's a sandy thing. Ah. Sandy can do the... Why? I know she comes from Texas, but why literal floating Texases? Why, why, why is that? Why can't it just be something squirrel related, like an acorn or something? Why does it have to be a Texas symbol? Very weird. Okay, right. Let's carry on. Anything hiding in here? Yeah. I feel like a new sponge. 50 bits from acid sugar. I can offer you some bits during these trying times. If then if there if there's anything that this stream has been so far, it is trying. I mean all the technical problems we've had in all the other streams, at least we could keep going. That's the first time I've been interrupted. Ah, uh, thanks again, Damien, for the 500 bits. Have a good rest of the stream, Caddy. I have to go off and start streaming myself, but I'll be back if you're still online. I'll be going for, I don't know, another hour and a half or so? We'll see how things go. Maybe a bit longer. Right, more Fresh wheels. Like a oh dear, we've got a daddy long legs in here. Oh. Thanks for the 95 bits. Cash Banuka's right butt cheek. Brilliant name. And I'll let Amy know that someone is called that because she'll be horrified. Hey, Caddy, welcome back. I thought the new name for the crash level fumbling in the dark. I'll call it Dumbledore comes than farts. <laughs> fumbling in the dumbling. Fumbling, fumbling in my drawers. Yeah, that was a fun stream, wasn't it? Bromo Rangers go 100 bits. A sandy thing. Nonsense. SpongeBob needs to pull out his lasso that he definitely has. Yes, and he definitely lives in Texas. Um... I'm going to just do this, because this is fun. I don't really see the point of it right now, though. Is there some sort of... Oh, I see, so I've got to hit the switch. Right. OK, 
Can I hit it from here? No. Okay, that's fine. Go, 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 go. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna work out how to get on top of here first. Oh no, I've got to go around here. Ah, okay. Harper Onions, say hi to Keris from me, Caddy, with the 100 bits. Hi, Keris. She, she says hi, Harper Onions. I don't know if you can hear her. I don't know if my mic sensitivity is high enough. Yeah, no, everyone knows you're there when you start wheezing, yeah. That's, that is, yeah, that is the, um... Oh! I completely missed that cutscene where, oh, I guess it's because we hit all of those switches, didn't we? I'm a fucking moron. There we go. Still not annoying yet. It's okay, we can keep this going. Yeah, I'm still not a fan of the running speed. Could be a little faster. Maybe you get a power-up that lets you jog or something. No, not jog. Dash, run, whatever. Okay, we need to, um... Oh, I get ya. Right, so we need to get up there without this thing going off and blowing everything up. So we need to do that. There we go. Alright, so that's out of bounds. We know that. So that's cool. Right, we need to go and get that sock. Let's do it. Yeah! Gian Bailey, 100 bits. Thank you so much. What's your favorite Caddy fan account? Mine's Caddicarus Kite Daily. <laughs> I know that those random accounts have popped. Some people have accused me of doing it. Like, why would I? I don't have the time to be that sad. Come on, guys. I've got shit to do, like playing Spongebob. That's what I'm doing with my time. So no, it's not me that's doing it. But I do love those fan accounts that just randomly sprung out of nowhere. Gotta say though, I don't think any of them are my favorites. And I'll tell you why. It's because there is a fan account that I've been aware of for many, many years now. And that is Cadicarus fans. They've been, they've been around since like 2013. They're the OGs. Yeah, she is. I'm pretty sure it's she. She is hardcore. Yeah. Oh, Platinum Warpstar, 50 bits, thank you so much. Greetings, it is I, one of the thousands of people that is upset that Oculus now requires you to log into Facebook in order to use the platform. It might not be a big of, that big of a deal for some people, but I don't like Facebook personally. Anyways, enjoy Spongebob. Yeah, um, way to bring it up. Yeah, that was a load of shit. I don't, I, I don't think I mentioned this to you, honey. You know, my lovely Oculus headset I've got and that I did the brand deal for. Turns out now... Um, I knew, I think Oculus was owned by Facebook anyway, but now they're rolling out a new system where in order to use any Oculus thing, you have to sign in with a Facebook account. Because Facebook, I don't know. It's it's just about having all of your personal information on what, in one place so they can keep it. I mean, we, know, we now know through all the political shit that's been going on that Facebook are just scum. Like, we, we, we knew it was shit before, but now it's pure money grubbing scum. And now we know that, like, the, all they're doing now is putting more people's... Can I run these in? No, I can't. Yeah, like... Oh, Inflim says 50 bits. As an existing user, you can get away without linking for two years. That's not a benefit. That's, a, that's an apology for them doing it. Like, people that have spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds only for them to only to then have them to force sign in or force create a Facebook account which needs your personal details in there so that Facebook can target advertise you and everyone else you know way more is shit because that's all face like as like I was saying like as we found out from the political climate that is all Facebook are good for now it's stealing people's information and targeting extremely questionable advertise like ad campaigns and shit um to gullible idiots and old people that don't know what the fuck they're doing and shouldn't be on Facebook. And this is just another outlet. It's just more data being consumed by the conglomerate and the robot that is Mark Zuckerberg, who doesn't give a fuck about anything aside from riding his water skis, putting too much sun cream on his face, and um, sticking his ass out very far. Like, that's all he cares about. And money. And talking like a fucking robot in the middle of going to court. And he goes to court a lot, have you realised that? Nobody that goes to court that frequently and is on the defence should be trusted. No matter how innocent he may be, he's always in there. Oh, uh, we must help... We must help Cash Panuka find his other butt cheeks as KD Knight. Yeah, we, yeah, we probably should, shouldn't we? Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. 
Maybe he has got a court season pass. Yeah, you're right, honey. But that's not to say, look, I'm not, I'm not completely oblivious to the fact, like, I, I use Facebook Messenger because it's, it's fucking convenient. That's the problem, is like, the more convenient things become, the more everybody uses them. And then it's like, well, shit, I have to use it because everyone uses it, but now it's terrible. You know? So, I use it for Messenger and shit. Am I missing something? Am I being a dum-dum? I don't know. This is probably angering a load of classic children fans of this game. I'm, cl I'm obviously doing something wrong, so let's just keep fucking around until we figure out what it is. Ah, oh, we had to bounce. Okay. I didn't think that would work. That's fine. Okay, right. I know that there's something around there. I know that for a fact. Okay. Ah, that's how we get here without upsetting. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There we go. Awesome. Thought you could hide that sock away from me, game? I knew your tricks before you even did it. Iron Ninja, I'm glad I'm a PSVR user. PSVR is great. I've, I've got no problems with PSVR. I was just so hyped because I've started... PC gaming like 10 times more than I would ever would have done all my trip all my brand new AAA games are being played through Steam right now So it's like to have VR Capability on PC was incredible and now I don't want to do it. Maybe I'll get a HTC or something. We'll see Oh, he's having a fit. What's going on there? Ah, Yay, that's okay, buddy. Just make sure you get your face fixed. I don't want to save ugly people. Okay. Now, what does this Gex button do? It shuts the window. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, yeah, the people were throwing the kitchen sink out, weren't they? Right, so if I come over to these guys and do... Oh, right. oh I see. Right, right, right. Okay, right. Thought that would be a loud enough noise there, but apparently not. Okay. Oh, this hey, Bubble. From the inside. Who would do such a thing? I just thought about how weird that switch was for closing that window. Imagine you're a kid playing the original game, and then your dad walks in or your mum walks in or something. Oh, hey, son, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great, Dad. Oh, what have, what have you just done in your, your brand new game that I spent my life savings on? Yeah, I just shut a window. <laughs> uh, right. Let's go, let's go back on here. Hurrah. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Patrick needs to keep them in a drawer. I don't, know, I don't even know why they're out and about, to be perfectly honest with you, but, you know. Okay, let's go back into ball form. Okay. Now we need to get up there. How do we get in there, is the question. There's probably something I missed around here somewhere. Oh, hang on a sec. Hmm. Oh, do you think we jump from there to there? I'm going to wager that's what you do. Let's see if it's about rolling in the ball. Can I jump up here? No. Okay, that's fine. Nah. Nah. No, that wasn't going to work, was it? Um, unless I jump... This probably isn't even what you're supposed to do. I'm just, I'm just fucking around at this point. We might, we, it might be great. Right, so if I jump off of the edge... Oh, <laughs> that was close. No, I don't think I'm supposed to get there that early. I'm sure it will come clear. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, jeez. I thought you could attack in ball form. You can't. It shines. Bang. Bang. Bang, bang. Your face. 2,100 shiny objects in the mouth. 
No! There we go. That sorted it. Yeah, we need to we need to get in there just to stop them from Oh, do you reckon Oh, you get on the other side. Oh, so okay, we need to roll into a ball again. Off we go. There we go. We're in. Blows up. Forgot about that for a sec. Oh. Hi, Gary. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. I like how his tie is always flapping in the wind whenever he says something heroic. It's a good detail. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. That was ominous. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Right, this is where we unlock Sandy and oh, do the Texas jump. swing. Okay, I'm Maybe it's because she's a swinger jump. in Texas. How is anyone going to get a uh oh more robots? Oh, whoops, that was a mistake. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Yes, you will. There we go. Easy peasy pudding and pie. Anything around here? That's how we do it in my garden. Thank you so much, Teban TV, for the subscription. Very kind of you. Oi! I think when I upload this video onto YouTube, I'm gonna have to, like, download both parts and then, like... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, download both parts and then, um, stitch like them together. Spot. So it's going to take way longer than usual. Like a spring breeze. Right, let's get up here. Right, how about if I go along here? Anything to see here? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Oh, I blew a hole in the wall. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Do you know what? Seeing as though we needed a few goddamn grand to get into the sea needle, I think I'm gonna go there first because that seems that sounds like an optional area to me. So I'll just see what's going on down here. Mm, this looks like an ultra hard, like, optional secret area. I guess. I'm not sure. Have I even unlocked Sandy at this point? Oh, I just did. Great. Oh, she can karate chop. Okay. Okay, she hovers. Okay, right. Hey, we're being raided by Chris Johnson. Hey, dude. Nice to see you here. Thanks for the 10 Banuka raid. Everybody, okay, I'm gonna, this. I saw Johnny do this on his stream. Some call me Johnny. I saw him do this on his streams last night, and I think it's a good idea. I think whenever there's a raid, we need to, um, we need to spam all of the caddy emojis. Just every, every single one. Just every single emoji you want to just spam them when there's a raid. I think that'd be quite fun. Um, Karis is still looking forward to you and Lucy coming for tea, says Karis. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. I thought that said Crotch Corner. Yes. Unless it was yes, supposed it to look like that. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the window. I, I can't listen to it. It's so... I'm, I'm, I'm seeing money. Mr. Krabs. Money. Money. Now listen here, boy. I'm you seeing Mr. Krabs, but if you hearing... But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the sea needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. No, I'm seeing Mr. Krause, but hearing somebody with a cough. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. No, sorry, I don't, I don't know. No, blah, 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 don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Let's see what's going on down here. Oh, look, Prozzy. There she is. 
Yep, she's been busy on that mountain. Everyone looks like from up here. Oh, I sat on that! And it's very... Oh, yeah, no. Wow. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Oh, I see. We're on the, like... Oh, it's the space needle. Oh, I see. I understand. So there was a bungee there. I guess has to get back down. That's my guess. Oh, fuck. Okay, they've got invincibility frames. I swear. They don't have... Okay. There's multiple ones? Okay, so we got north side done. Cool. Right, I'm gonna try the bungee thing and see what happens. How you doing, lady? Admiring your work on top of that mountain. Wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from Right, how do we do this again? Yeah, we just jump, right. Oh fuck! Jeez! Okay, 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 okay. I, I keep missing it. I keep missing. Got ya. Yeah, he's got he's got a sponge crack. Yeah. There we go. So this is just shiny objects, I suppose. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Everyone looks like ant piss from up here. Oh, ant fish. Thanks for the hundred bits, Paul Tony Kubus. I just learned there's a crazy frog racing game. My life will never be the same. Wow, that's 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 not news, dude. That's um, well, I mean, consider yourself lucky. You've been stuck un living under a rock for that long because I've known about them for a long time, and I wish I didn't. So I'm glad that you had the virgin knowledge of not knowing. You weren't corrupted by sin, so well done. All right, let's get some more shiny bits. God, this camera's terrible. Sorry, honey. I don't know if Iron Ninja has shiny bits, no. Cash Manuka's right butt cheek has subscribed. Thank you. Now we just need the left one. Then we'll have a complete set. We'll have a complete crack. Okay. Oh, hello. You're new. I can't hit you. Unless I can. Well, let's try the Y. Yeah, there we go. That did it. Another bungee. Okay, at some point, one of these must have, like... Yeah. So is this just a bonus place, then? So is it a case of spending 2,000 shiny objects to give you a chance to grab, like, 5 million more? So it's like a payoff. Oh, we've got some explosions. Oh, jeez. By the way, I'm trying to move the camera right now. It just won't it just won't move. This bit is really bad. Ah. Okay, we couldn't hit <laughs> the bye-bye head. <laughs> that went. Okay, let's go up this way. Yeah, you're hanging from your pants, honey. Yeah. No, it's not chewing gum. It's SpongeBob's it's SpongeBob's undies. No skids though. No skids. He what? He's a, he's a good sponge. He wipes. In fact, if he's a sponge, he's a self-cleansing. He doesn't need to wipe. Well, this is awkward. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did I get it? No. Come on, here. You just kind of have to guess. <laughs> Close enough. You have to guess your trajectory with this. Like, because you can't move the camera as you're diving. It's quite annoying. Right, so we've done that. What's going on? Did he just say you just met the Spunkinator? <laughs> yeah, you're a little... Yeah, that's the one that looks like in pain all the time. That's the... That's the... That's the end me fish. <laughs> oh god, where'd it go? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you for the $5 donation, M Glitch. Caddy, have fun with this collectathon game that I originally played on the PS2. Not sure if anyone has said anything, but Mermaid Man, also not the original voice. Um... Odd, since he was still alive at the time of this game coming out. Yeah, that, okay, well then that's... I mean, he might have been sick. I don't, I don't know enough about the voice actors or the show to comment. Sorry, I'm going to turn my watch off. 
But, um... Yeah, like, like I don't know en anywhere near enough to comment, but what I can say is that... Like, the voices that... I don't remember what, what he even sounded like, so I couldn't even tell you, but Mr. Krabs sounds fucking dreadful. So, is that it? No, there's a south. Maybe we have to do the sandy thing on the, um, to get from west to south or east to south, whatever it is. Is it really? Let's get to be two geese in Untitled Goose Game. Oh, that's awesome. I feel like this isn't going to work. I don't think this is a good idea. No, that's not going to make it. Whatever whatever plan I had is not going to work there. So how do I get to the south door? Do I have to go left at the west? No. What's that box up there? Maybe I have to hit it with something else? I don't know. Can Sandy do this? No, she can't. That yeah, I don't I think actually, now that I think about it, I don't think they would they should have let Sandy do that. I don't want to see Sandy's G-string be pulled up by a fishing hook. I, I really don't want to see that. Right, let's go back to the city. Uh, okie dokie. There we go. She hasn't got an up move. That's fine. Hey, Gary. Karate chop your head. Oh, that's sad. That's very, very sad. Very short ranged attack, I guess. I guess you use, um, like, SpongeBob for the attack, for the general wide range sweeping attacks, because her... Her range is really small and she doesn't cover her whole body, so I guess you use her for the jumping stuff. <laughs> Thank thanks for letting me know I had to jump in this game that has jumping in it. Thanks, game. Oh. Oh. Well, that happened. Oh. Why didn't you do the glide? That's weird. Oh, don't question it. Just get on with it. <laughs> she sounded like Cartman just then. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Alright, let's try this again. Do the thing. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted you to do the first time. Right, let's jump on the, the flats and the houses, see what we can find. Right, that must be where it wanted me to go earlier. Let's do it now. Hey. Gosh, so, I mean, so far, I mean, I'm enjoying the game a lot so far. Um, Like, as far as collector thon kind of things go, similar to... I mean, everyone compares it to Mario 64, because that's the one that everybody compares it to. Wait, lasso. Oh, we can lasso onto things in the sky. And that's how we get down here, isn't it? Sweet. Oh, I've always called them lassos. I don't know what the technical term is. I thought it was lasso. Oh, that's a useful ability. Yeah, anyway, I know everyone, like... Everybody re compares Collectathons to Mario 64 because it was the benchmark and like how do all, how do future games different from what Mario 64 did? That's essentially what people do and um, like if you're gonna compare it to something like that, I think this is way more kid friendly in terms of how it plays. It's better controlling. It's got a better camera. This isn't me knocking Mario 64 by the way. It's one of my favorite games ever. I'm just saying that like if you're looking to get a kid into Collectathon platformers, you can do way worse than this. This is probably a better starting point than I would recommend for like something like Mario 64 because that's quite a that's quite an intense game especially if you're young 
100 bits from Charlie Kuti or Charl Kuti. Sorry. Yes, your Kuti is named Charles. I forgot. Would you consider playing Fall Guys? Everybody's been asking me. I don't... I, it doesn't... If I haven't played it by now, there's probably a reason. Same with Undertale. Same with Yakuza. Like, the, 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 the requested games that I get all the goddamn time. I wasn't supposed to make it here as Spongebob, was I? I broke the game. I wasn't supposed to get up here this soon. <laughs> oh, wait. What happens if I lasso a, a low one? No, it's one at a time. That sucks. Um, yeah, all, all those, like, highly requested games, like, if there's something about it that's turned me off a little bit, it doesn't matter how many requests I get after that. It doesn't... It doesn't further my interest. If anything, it just makes me think, yeah, maybe I shouldn't give it a go because the more requests I see for stuff like Undertale and stuff, I know people haven't been asking, haven't asked me to play Undertale for years. I'm just saying that at the time it came out, nobody would shut up about Undertale, and that was already kind of making me feel like, oh come on, really? Like, is it that good? Like, and then because I didn't jump on the bandwagon straight away anyway, it's almost like. I was justified in not jumping on the bandwagon based on everybody desperately clambering and telling me to play the game, you know? Well, yeah, it's like it's like you've got you've got a friend who has another friend and you're and you're like No, it's not like that. It's really hard to explain. It's it, because it's it's like it's not me saying that it's bad at all. What I'm saying is that it comes the, th the thing comes out whether let's just use Undertale as the example Undertale comes out and then What ends up happening is that everyone starts playing it, but no one has got to the point of uh, aggressively fan like f um, What's the word fan fan fanboying fanboying over it like aggressively advertising it on behalf of the oh shit I needed to hold it um, Yeah, it hasn't got to that intense level of fanboyism yet but it's still come out, it's still critically received, it's still great, but it hasn't got to the point of everybody talking about it yet. So I see all the reviews, I see the positive attention and everything, and I think to myself, hmm, this looks like I might be interested, but I'm looking at screenshots, I'm looking at gameplay, it's not quite my thing, so I think I'll give it a miss. Um, but I'll come back to it at some other point, but something about it isn't... It, I'm getting bad vibes from it because... Not because I think it's bad, but it just doesn't look like my kind of thing, right? So that's how I looked at Undertale when it first came out. And then everybody says, oh god, no, you're completely wrong. You need to play it. You have to play it. You have to do it. You have to do it. And at that point, I'm just like, um, what's the word? Not bitter. The, um, I know what you mean, but I don't know. What's the word? You're reluctant. Not reluctant. No. What's the word? Not overhyped. No, not toe my better. No, um. This is going to annoy me. Ugh, I don't know, guys. This this is what happens. Jaded might be. I don't know. But yeah, like, it's 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 almost... Yeah, no, no, but it's like... Everyone then going on and on and on and on and on about it has then proven to me... Out of, like... Ugh, I can't explain what I'm saying. Basically... My assumptions... And my grieve not my grievances, my... Uh, <laughs> my hesitance, my reluctance, I don't fucking know. This is what happens when I can't remember a word. It, it annoys me until I remember that word. I don't know if anyone else is like that. It drives me insane. But yeah, like, that's the, the basic idea is that I wasn't too fussed to begin with. Oh, gotta go in. Yeah, I wasn't too fussed to begin with. And then my reluctance to play it was justified once everybody wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. And I was like, do you know what? I didn't jump on it for a reason and now I need, and now I can see why that re reason is. Because it looks like something that might, might irritate me based on the way that people keep, keep talking about it, you know? Sandy, boy, am I glad and it's like, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because if millions of other people are playing it, then great. I would, I would care more if it was an underrated thing. That's how I got into playing Max Payne. Because I'd never heard that. Someone recommended it to me and I'd never heard of it before. And I was like, that interests me. But when I've already heard about it and I wasn't that interested to begin with and I didn't register my interest, then it's like, well, what's the point? 
I'll get to it when I get to it, but yeah, it's not... It's very difficult. I might get to it at some point, just I don't know when. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Fruity Groovy in the chat. I still don't get the logic. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's not about... No, it's got nothing to do with o overhyping. No, because I can't say it's overhyped because I haven't played Undertale. All I'm saying is that if something is majorly popular and everyone's playing it and everyone's talking about it, but I haven't jumped... Like, there's, it's, there's a guarantee that you've heard of it. Like, when Undertale came out, everyone fucking heard of Undertale. Even people who hadn't played it or knew nothing about it knew what Undertale was. That was me. And because I wasn't one of those people that was initially immensely interested in the way the game looked or played, I was like, I just gave it a miss because I didn't feel like I needed to play because I was like, it's not interesting me. So while I'm then debating in my head whether I should or shouldn't play it at some point, at that point is when everybody starts saying, you need to play it, play it, play it, play it, you need to play it, you need to play it. And then I feel like it's a chore at that point. It's something to tick off of a list, you know, and I don't want, and I don't want, I wanted to, I wanted to be interested based on what my tastes were in the first place, not based on what everybody is now telling me to do because I have to, because it's just that great. Because then the chances are, I will think it's overhyped based purely on the amount of times people were talking about it. I guess. It's very difficult to explain. Because it's not me saying anything's bad. And I can't say it's bad because I haven't played it. Ca oh, sorry. Caps Key... Caps Lock Key On has subscribed. Thank you so much. Oh, I need to... I need a sponge. Where's my sponge? Oh, we haven't got a bus stop. So there's probably a bus stop over there somewhere. Oh my god, who... Who has inflated versions of Sandy's pants? Why is Sandy's bra... Why is Sandy's bra expanded and put on a washing line? And Patrick's shorts. And that now confirms that Patrick does not wear any underwear, which means his wang is out. Who has an XXXXL Spongebob cosplay suit? How big of a rectangle are they? Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the 222 bit soaking wet. I hope that, I hope the, um, the clothing didn't excite you. That's the wordliest explanation I've ever heard. Loved it though. Gotta run. Wanted to wish you well. Until next time, keep it wet. Thank you so much. And thanks for, yeah, I know I can never get to the point. That's why I write scripts. That's why I don't do Let's Play videos. I know I used to, but Keris edited them when I rambled. I can't do them on my own. <laughs> That's why nobody invites me to parties. Okay, right. Let's go this way. Oh, chimney squirrel. Oh, Ace of Trainer Liam, thank you so much for the 38 Banuka raids. Everybody in the chat, spam caddy emojis. Thank you so much. Or emotes. I don't know what you kids are calling them now nowadays, you crazy kids. Thanks for coming down, everybody. We're playing SpongeBob badly. Just what you wanted to see. Kelpo. <laughs> that's, that's pleasant. Kelp is a living thing, right? So when... So when the, the when they have burgers at Krusty Burger, they use cows to kill them? And now they're eating other things that they live with? I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, we're timed. Whoopsie. Oh, I see. Right. Okay, this is the um, infamous underwear rooftop chase. Eat at Joe's. That's a fucking Rayman level. Jesus Christ, that is bringing me... That's giving me post-war flashbacks. Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm a good boy. Look at that.
Right, so where does that cardboard box take you? We've got, we've opened like three. Where does that take you? Back there, right. And that takes you back there, right, so... Hmm, okay. Oh, um, Angelica Arax, thank you. Angelica Arax, sorry. Thank you for the 100 bits. Um, oh, Acid Sugar, 50 bits. I get what you're saying now. Sorry for the confusion earlier. Oh, look. If you're confused after listening to me ramble, then you're normal. I'm not the one that's normal, so don't worry about it. And um, we had... Um, uh, 100 bits, sorry, from... Yeah, Angelic Arax. Sorry, I'm, I'm being... I'm being bad. I'm being a bad host. Evening, Caddy. Joining the stream late thanks to work. Hope everyone's having a great hump day. Hump day? Why is it... Oh, because it's the middle... It's the... I thought it, it was because we had to grind ourselves on the furniture. I didn't understand what you meant there. Thank you. That makes way more sense. I swear I'm just not I'm not down with the lingo today. I was not made for these times. Good song by the Beach Boys, by the way. There we go. Get more wheels. Can I get can I make it there? No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get back. Oof. Hope work went for you okay though, Angelic Arax. And I hope it was full of humps. So does that mean that Mrs. Puff celebrates Pump Day? I like how this is an obstacle. Like, it's it's so slow, it doesn't even need to be here. But it is. So <laughs> it's just, just there. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, that could just be another building. Like, there's no reason for that to, like, that's not, that's not hindering your progress. That's not, like, the moving, um, the moving, uh, what are they call conveyor belts in Crash, like Crash 3 these. in the future levels. Uh, yeah, there we go. That was close. So I suppose we just need to get higher and higher and higher and then start flying our way down. Oh, jeez. Can Sandy sneak? I don't think she can. Ah! Uh. Okay, I need to get rid of this absorber majogger my fuck. Oh, I'm dead! My first death! Now, was that the fish making that noise? Because if it was, that would have been horrific. Oh, at least the checkpoint was right there. Charles Cootie, 50 bits. Thank you so much. Um, what is the origin of your name, Caddy slash Caddicarus? Go on my Twitter and then that will answer your questions. My real name is Jim Caddick. So that's where Caddy comes from. And um, that's what everybody has called me since I was in secondary school. So middle school to you Americans. That's weird not having a sound effect. Okay, right. Can I jump on your head and get up there? No, that's not working. Yeah, my name is Jim Caddick, and that's where Caddy came from, based on um, my last name. Ah, there we go. Anything around here? Nope, okay, cool. And then Caddickerus was just a case of... It was a mix of multiple things. It was a mix of... I thought it sounded cool. Um, mixed with, um, it kind of sounded like Kid Icarus, which was a gaming thing, which I have, I haven't played any Kid Icarus games, but it were Caddick, Kad Icarus. And yeah, but the nickname Caddy, that, that whole thing, that whole shebang is just something that I've been called since some um, secondary slash middle school. And, um, teachers called me it, my friends called me it, um, my girlfriend calls me it, my girlfriend's kids call me it, it's just, yes you do. Well, yes, you're I'm mostly honey. Yeah, you're, yeah, I know. There we go. Hutchmaster 1, 50 bits. Oh my god, I... 
That's where the message ends. Am I going to be assassinated? That was a really, really scary message to receive out of nowhere. Thank you for the bits, though. Meerkat Doken, 50 bits. Thank you so much. Oh, we've had a subscription from Al Aleph Noll. Thank you so much. Right, let's go and grab the shiny wheel. Get the golden wheel. I don't know whether or not I'm going to need another wheel. Oh, Sandy! You got whacked. Oh, pancake there. Thank you so much, Sleepy Screen, for the subscription, and Platinum Warps are for the 50 bits. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the gameplay is back to 30 FPS. I only pointed it out because I know it matters to you. Thanks for ruining my... I was... Everything was A-OK. -okay. Everything was A-OK, -okay, and now I'm annoyed because it's going to be in the corner of my view for the next hour or so. Oh, I need to work that out. Because my head my, my head is moving fine at 60, so I don't understand why that's not running at 60. Oh, so irritating. Well, this is why you stream this shit and don't make it, like, don't produce it. Because if I was to upload a video onto a YouTube channel, a professional YouTube channel, and it looked like that, I'd, I'd, I'd ask you to, um, to fire me. Which doesn't make any sense, but... Did she just say, damn? Sandy can slide down slopes just like Spongebob can. There we go. I, I did the slope. Oh, I see. So, okay. So we grab the sock down here. Then it should be able to bounce us back up, right? Anything around here? Nope. Okay, right. And so far, I mean, I know I'm only on level two, but like, I'm still, I'm liking the um, variety, and not in just in location and color schemes and everything, but like how the platforming itself works. Because we've got like a lot of verticality here, a lot of um, individual island exploration. This is kind of ratchet and clanky. Roasted Texas style. Roasted Texas titty style. What does she say? There we go. I don't know if I missed anything. I probably missed a fair bit. Yeah, we need to go and get SpongeBob now, don't we? And then head back. Oh, look, it's working now. Someone in... Okay, Simon Vegeta, switch screens. Are you talking about, um... Like, the, the frame rate problems? Cause, because I need to reiterate... I'm not having any frame rate problems with this game. It's running perfectly for me, but for some reason on the stream it runs like shit. But only sometimes. That's the problem I'm having. Okay. Another sock. And some more undies. So now I need to go back in that box, don't I? Okay, I don't want to go to the lighthouse just yet. I need to go back in the box. Takes you to the beginning. And then body slam this switch over here. Now, what happened? Okay, we've got ourselves a trampoline. Jam, that was fun. Oh, I get you. I found you sneaking there. Sneaky queek. I got a quick sneaky cheeky peek of the squeak there. Look at that. Thank you so much, Nightshade96. Uh, I know that name. Thanks for coming down. Hey, Caddy, been watching you since your original Klonoa video. You're the first YouTuber I ever subbed to. Thank you so much for all the great videos and laughs over the years. Very kind of you. God, first that I, you ever subbed to. Your standards must be low. But thank you. I wonder if there's anything on top of those buildings. Maybe not, but I'll give... Uh, I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to switch to Sandy and just see. Maybe it's an out-of-bounds thing. Maybe I'll just ruin the game. I don't know. We'll see.
Like, if I was making a platforming game, I would put shit there. So, go based on my sick, let's trick all the kids mentality. No, no, go. Oh, no. You have to be SpongeBob. Ah, uh, we tried. Simon Vegeta, I'm flummoxed then. Yeah, I don't know either. Look, as you can see, it's running perfectly on the stream right now. Give it another 15 minutes, it'll run back at 30 again. But it will run perfectly for me. I don't understand why it's happening. It's really irritating. Mmm. Are you ready, kids? Set. <laughs> Go! <laughs> That's not how the intro goes, but okay. That was close enough, everybody. What? Go what? Oh, fuck me! That scared the shit out of me! I don't think I got that jump scared that badly since The Last of Us 2! No, I don't think I got jump, jump scared that badly in The Last of Us 2! That was horrible! Fucking hell! Oh, do you do a kick in the air? No, yeah, you do a karate kick in the air. I was not expecting that. That was horrible. Oh, fuck you and your stupid hands. No! Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it. You're wearing SpongeBob's underwear? I just thought they were hit points. I didn't realize you're wet. Where are you wearing them, Sandy? Is there a secret slot we don't know about? Right, let's sort out ha let's sort out the grabby feelers first. And then we can go to the dupla koopa koopa floop. Oh, that was a horrible noise. Oh god, we're still going. Right, well let's sort all these guys out from a distance. Which I can't do because they're firing missiles at me. Or pancakes, or whatever you want to call them. Oh, this one is. Oh, I see. So the lasso is a slower attack, but it gets rid of everything in one go. Thank you so much for the 95 bits. Cash Banuka's right butt cheek. I hope you find the left one. Oh, there's another one up there. Sorry. Um... I'm off to bed now. Had a busy day picking my dog up from the vets after he had surgery yesterday. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that. I can sympathise. We're, we're in that situation too. Um, I love to stream and I'll be back for the next one. Thank you so much. Fridays, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays every week. Unless I can't get the stream working, which was last week. <laughs> yeah, pretty much every day. There we go. That was that was worth a hit, wasn't it? Okay, so I need to be SpongeBob now. Have I fucked myself over? Have I soft locked myself? I've got the steering wheel, but I can't do the slam. Oh shit! I was supposed to be SpongeBob, wasn't I? Oh lordy! Oh no! Have I got to go through all that again? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I have to go back, don't I? Oh my god. It's just for a sock. I'm doing 100%. I, I, I'm doing 100%. I have, do I have to go? I have to go back and get the socks, don't I? Oh my lord. Oh. Alright, so how do we make our way back up there? We go through we go through the teleportation cardboard boxes, I'm assuming. Oh, I probably won't take as long as I think it would. Thank God for those boxes. Jeez. Platinum Warp Star, that's what I like to call game design. Well, I mean, I would say that if I had to go through everything again, but actually it's not going to take me that long at all. I'm back there now. Hopefully I don't have to go through the gauntlet again because that won't be very fun as SpongeBob. Why did it let Sa why did it let Sandy into the room in the first place? Very good question. I guess that's my punishment for not not worshiping the sponge. 
I have to do it again. Are you shitting me? Oh my god. Oh, this sucks. Right. At least now I've got a better idea of what's going on. Got it so much better with Sandy's lasso. Fuck. Don't you touch me! You have no permission to group! Fuck off! I feel like a new sponge. Don't you- <laughs> I'm being grabbed by multiple hands while the game is wolf whistling at me. I don't like this. I'll hit him once so I don't have to hit him again. Right, there we go. Come back here. So just because you now, now because you know you can't cop a feel, you're now gonna run away. Very brave. There we go. Sorted. Right, let's grab that health. Hit this button. And I get a trampoline. And that. Ah, right. I see. So am I going right to the top this time? Yeah, there we go. Sweet! Right, let's get out of here. Right, well. <laughs> I like how they've gone out of their way to like animate the um the just the just the standard like um character interactions. That's really cute. Because most games will just have them standing there while the voice actors did all the work. Right, so now I've got to go back and see Mrs. Pump, haven't I? Bringing it around town. I'm bringing the pump back to Mrs. Pump. Hey, Mrs. Pump, I got you dumb. I'm impressed. Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula. Is that, that, is that bird shit you. on her head, or is that her hair? Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. Your bowels. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, Thank don't God. I? No, no, you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? <laughs> a library card. Oh. It's Cash Manuka. We're being raided by Ashens. Jesus Christ, dude. Thanks for coming down. I just got a golden spatula and you've made me now extra excited about that mundane fact. 242 fucking people. What? Everybody's spam caddy shit. Caddy em emotes everywhere. Caddy, stand, demonic faces, anything. Just spam fucking emotes. Thank you so much for coming down. And here is my playthrough of a game where you use pants for health. I don't know what to say when I get a massive influx of people like that. Thanks for doing that, dude. That was really kind of you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I need to get out of here. I'm going. I'm no, I'm I'm gone. I'm gone. No more for me. No more for me. I'm out. I don't think there's anything else I can do here until I get some more abilities. Here we go. Back home we go. I've got to buy another one of those um buy another one of those things off of uh, Mr. Krubes, don't I? Mr. Craps because of his shit voice acting. So, do you want it that quality? Yep, I do. Thanks, dude. So now I guess it'll be 4,500 is my is my estimation. This is where it'd be great to have a stream deck, wouldn't it? I do have one. I just haven't had anywhere near enough time to set it up. I've got I'm I'm kind of on a rush with this next video, so Okay, Goo Lagoon. Oh, what's up there? Poseidon? Hmm. So I need to take a taxi that way. So I guess that's the way I've got to go, right? Because that was the one that had the 
the next least amount of, um, the next highest amount of, um, spatulas. So I guess taxi driver will be happy with that. Does that say testicles? Clamsicles? That's even worse. I don't want to think about clam genits. Jesus. Twin Retro, thanks for the 100 bits. I've been sub to your YouTube channel since you were an ickle caddykins gushing about Crash Bash, but this is the first time I've caught a Twitch stream. Hope you and the bricks are getting on well. Well, aside from them leaving me and to, to support myself and the kids and running off, you know, after we just got married and taking my wallet. Yeah, we're doing all right, thanks. I also, like, I thought where that was going was you were going to say, like, oh, I remember when you loved Crash Bash and you were gushing about it, and nowadays you just moan <laughs> because that's what I did in my bad Crash Games video. I moaned. Oh, boy, did I moan. Because it's not actually as good as I remember it being. It seems really weird to me that SpongeBob can't touch this water except when he's standing halfway in this water. That's too much, apparently. No <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, let's carry on. Ev oh, um... Evered Nature 64 I waited 30 minutes to be the newbie to comment. Oh, thank you so much. So that's how I know people care, you know? That's really sweet of you. Thank you. He's having a good time. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. You ruined his good day, couldn't you tell by his face? It's a monsoon. Watch out for the lightning attack. Well, that's good because I've got an attack that goes right up his asshole. There we go. Oh, Spunginator, not Spunkinator. I thought you said Spunkinator the whole time. Right, let's continue on, shall we? Oh, I got stuck on an umbrella there. Oh. Well, that was the end of that, kids. That was really, really bizarre. Okay, all right, let's continue. Let's just pretend that never happened. Got to get all this shit again. Ugh. See, and this one's like we've had. We've already. We've had like a multi-layered, easy platforming stage where you're climbing up to the top of a hill. We've had. Um, like multiple rooftop, individual gliding and searching across different chasms with Sandy. And now we've got a pretty straightforward linear gauntlet starred level. Oh, fuck's sake. I thought I could do that after a double jump. Okay, I'm, that's just not worth it. I ain't doing that shit anymore. Not worth it. Every time I see that, welcome to Google, I think it's cornflakes. Do you see that, honey? Like, split second, cornflakes. Yeah. 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 Kellogg's cornflakes. The Kellogg says welcome, and the Goolagoon says cornflakes. Goo flakes. That's what I want for my brekkie. Wait, that didn't work. Why didn't it work? Thank God. Thanks, Admiral Ashbah, for the subscription. Very kind of you. No, that's not working. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. I, it, it's too tempting. I can't help myself. Okie dokie, let's carry on, shall we? And up we go! Right, don't do it, Cads, come on. You can resist the urge. Can I? Can I resist the urge? Yes, I can. It's not gonna end well. Do I look burned? Only a little bit. You know, only a little red. Well, you do look a little red. I should write for Sponge Bill. Barnacles, that darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly. <laughs> you can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. They'll get sunscreen. all itchy and pee. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. 
SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun if you hit one of the buttons on the side. Right, so we're um, okay. So it's not it's okay, so it's not exactly a linear gauntlet, it's a ra it's a round and about this is very um Super Lucky's Tale actually. Which I know has copied other things, but I'm just saying immediately makes me think of that. Megly likes video games and subscribed. Well, if you like video games, then you're gonna hate my channel, so I don't, don't know why you subscribe, because I give video games a bad name. God, I've got hiccups, sorry. Thanks for the sub, though. Very kind of you. Right, let's... This is where I'm being a dick, isn't it? Did he say something very specific? Oh, have I got to sort out, like, one at a time? That's why, yeah. I didn't realise that's where it started. See, just as you were talking about how you like video games so much, um, Megly, that's that shit happens. I then make a complete fool of myself. How are you doing, potato dick? Nice goggles. Nice to see you're nice and protected at the tip there. Oh, he, he was excited about that. Oh, jeez, another groper. Fuck off. So now i got to make my way over there. And this is where Sandy would come in useful. Or Patrick, tub of fuck. No, I don't want you. Oh, I can't use Sandy. Oh. All right, okay, fair enough. Okay, that wasn't worth it in the slightest. Okay, let's make our way across here by jumping on this man's gullet. <laughs> Sorry for the sick. I wouldn't worry about sunscreen if, like, some scream. Ah! <laughs> sunscreen. Sorry. Oh, I get it. Right. Oh, I see. So, what happens if I am? Um, wait, I just sneak up to this one. So if I, um, how's his face? <laughs> oh, he likes it. Pop on pop. So what happens if I hit this one? Hmm, interesting. So can I knock this one off again? Right, okay, so now, okay, so you need to hit... The ones that bounce onto another mirror. It's where it's not that difficult. I'm just making it look way more difficult than it actually is. So now that should point that way. Yeah, okay. So you can only do one at a time. So it's guessing, really. Oh, fuck. It's Drunk Fish McProstitute. What is she doing on the beach? Oh, she's pushing a chest out. Oh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. She's got a condom on her head. She's ready for it. She's like, no, oh, no. You want to mean I'm presuming a lot? She's walking around, thrusting her chest out in high heels, winking at everything. And looking like she's had about 50 bloody Guinnesses. <laughs> I mean, what do, you, what do you expect me to think? Yes. <laughs> right. Let's do the button. I'm doing it. Do. Mm. I didn't do the do. I'm doing the do now. There we go. I did the do. What does that say? Yeah. I didn't need to be told that though. If I'm going to be playing the game naturally and just seeing what happens as I go, then it's not it's not really I don't really need to be told that, you know? A bit weird. Okay, how do we do this? There we go. Love opening presents. 
And that, that looks like there should be a secret down there, but I'm going to wager a guess and say that it's not a secret. Okay, right. Oh, I nearly have enough for the other golden spatula from Mr. Krabs. Oh, fuck. Go away. Yeah, I need to get rid of the duplicator fook. Oh, we need a Pat up here. Where's Pat? Where's Postman Pat? Let's go and get him. Yeah, we need to get we need to get Fat Pat up here. Got you. Unless I hit it from here. No, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, so we've done that, done that, done that. So now we need, yeah, we need to get to the other side of the pier, don't we? But we need to go and get Pat first. Right, now he's got to clumber his way up to the fucking top of the mountain, which is going to take us a while. God, there's like a little flap noise. There's like a, no, not the, whoosh, there's like a kind of, there's like a little drip, like a droplet of water noise. That, like a. It's like a really disgusting, disgusting fat. Like, what is that noise? Yeah, I did it. And do it again. Harper Onion, Spongebob can't swim. <laughs> yeah, weird that. Oh, we've got moving towels this time. Which makes just as much sense as a stationary airborne towel. Oh, and spinning floating towels. Which again, makes just as much sense as a, as a moving floating towel. Yay. Oh god, now we've got... Stationary, moving, and spinning. I can't keep up with this. I can't keep up with this tomfoolery. I'm dead. Oh, he drowned in the sand. Okay. Oh, God. I've got to do all this shit again. Whereabouts am I? Well, at least I know now that I just have to go and get SpongeBob. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, bye. Star Smasher. I got a Star Smasher achievement. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad I got an achievement because achievements make me cream. Okay, right. Yeah, you ain't gonna get a quiet a quiet noise from Patrick. I'm pretty sure he has a theme tune as he walks around. Right, let's try that again, shall we? The Bay XL... I fucking fell. The Bay XLR. 100-bit cheer. Thank you so much. Oh, now, now Patrick's having a fit. Oh, what the fuck am I gonna do now? He's dead. <laughs> I, I, I show my appreciation to a single person that was de generous enough to give me some bits, and I lose it. Um, I always find it interesting to one hear to hear one's ramblings, like that Undertale discussion from earlier. The word chore is what got me to understand your logic. Um, I, wait, I'll re read the rest in a sec. Thank you. I feel the same way about a few games myself. For example, Minecraft and the world of... And, sorry, and the world of Warcraft. <laughs> How old am I? 60? I heard you were playing that. The world of Warcraft. Um, it would feel like a chore to follow my friends and the games they like or something like that. Like, some games that are highly talked about, like Undertale, I do eventually want to play. There's just other things on my mind right now. Yeah, I, yeah, kind of that, but also more a case of, like... Um... Uh... Yeah, okay, so the reason I was never that fussed about Undertale is not because of the hype. The reason I wasn't fussed about it when I saw the trailers and saw the gameplay and everything, and I saw the... Because it was highly pub... Like, people were talking about it. It reviewed really well. I, that's how I heard about Undertale from the reviews. I didn't hear it from word of mouth. I heard about it because of the reviews. And But the reason I didn't go straight away into picking it up is because... Oh, am I going to make it? Yeah, easy peasy. 
Yeah, the reason I didn't go to picking it up is because at the time, and still, like, JRPGs are not, or RPGs in general, like, turn-based battle RPGs, are not my go-to genre. I like them a lot more than I used to, but back when Undertale came out, I wouldn't touch them with a fucking 30-foot-long pole, so... That was the main reason I didn't bother picking up Undertale. It wasn't anything, it was just a preference thing. So, what happened then, after I decided, oh, do you know what, I don't need to pick it up, it's fine, I'll, I'll let everyone else enjoy it. Once that happened, and then I started seeing everybody wouldn't shopping, sh shopping up, shutting up about, oh, you need to play it right now, you need to play it. Oh my god, it's the best game ever, it's fucking 10 out of 10, best game, oh yeah, best game of the decade, fucking play it right now, play it right now. As soon as that started happening, my original assumptions and my original, like, feelings towards the game as it's as it stood were almost then, um... Not justified. <laughs> What's the fucking word? Vilified? Vil vilified? Vilified? I don't know. But, like... Yeah, that's all I can say. Like, it was it was finally not just it's not justified. It was like My my initial doubts were like realized and I was like, do you know what? I didn't want to play this when it first came out and now that everyone won't shut up about it Now I really don't want to because I know I'm not gonna enjoy it as much as everyone else is because I knew I wasn't gonna enjoy it as much as everybody else from the beginning. That's my point. And because I knew I wasn't going to enjoy it as much as everybody from the beginning, I didn't want to jo join in just for the sake of it. And then when everybody was asking me to join in for the sake of it, I felt a little bit like, no, now I really don't want to. That's how I, that's the best way I can describe it. I also need sponge ball. Okay, where is he? Is there another bus stop up there? No, I gotta, I gotta do this whole thing back from over here. Verified, says Harper Onions, 100 bits may be verified, I don't know. I'm just very, very bad at remembering long words. I'm good when I'm writing a script and then I've got other people in the living room to ask their opinions on and then I, I'm not live on camera. But when I'm live on camera, I'm a mess. Right, come on, Spingel. It's Spindly Bobby. That's what he is. Right, let's... Oh no! The children's balloons have been overfilled! They're carrying <laughs> the children out of control! I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It Mrs. Like Pump, <laughs> that is. Yes, too much fun if you ask me. Oh, Mrs. Pump always pumping the fucking party up. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. That's bubble exactly what I just did. I just did that, Mrs. Pump. Come on. Come on, Mrs. Pump. Don't be such a dump. Right, let's go and get the childries. Let's go. Hey, childry. Die. Where's the rest of the childries? Hello, that's not a childry, that's a meat machine. Oi. Oi. Sleepy screen, 100 bit cheer, thank you so much. It's also, it's also completely um, valid to say that the hype makes you feel alienated. That can affect your opinion of a game. Yeah, it did when it started, but that's that's my that's my point. It wasn't that that initially made me not want to play it. That's not that's not what I didn't want to play it initially because it just didn't look like my thing. And then everyone else, then after I I had already kind of made up my mind of if I was going to buy the game or not. Everyone being like that didn't help help like help the case of m m me wanting to play the game at all. If anything, it solidified how I felt. Solidified was the word I was looking for. And nowadays, like the fan base, I don't like I can I can separate from the fan base, but back when it was new, it wasn't just about old oh, rabid fan base, it was about everybody and their mothers was talking about it. Even friends of mine, people that I admire, everybody was talking about it. And now, guess what? They're not talking about it anymore because there's new shit to talk about. So, at that point, you can separate from the rabid fans and I don't care about what they have to say. It's like with the whole Pokemon Sword and Shield debate, like the rabid fans have their reasons for disliking it and that's fine. I thought it was fucking great. I mean, that, but that's just me. 
Who am I, right? I don't know what I'm talking about, you know? So it's like... So rabid fan bases aren't my problem. I can get away from a rabid fan base. No problem. I mean, that's how I'm able to like Sonic Riders and dislike Sonic Adventure 2 and like Sonic Heroes and dislike Sonic the Shadow the Hedgehog. Because I don't care about fan bases in that way. Like, if you care about fan bases, you're, if you're going to argue with somebody from a fan base, you're arguing with someone who has planted themselves in a fan base. Somebody who is identifying themselves as someone who loves the thing you're arguing about. So there's no point, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, uh, yeah, Karis is in the Animal Crossing fan base. So if you were going to go around and say to Karis, I want Animal Crossing shit, she's not going to care. <laughs> And she's going to be upset and probably scream on online and make a video about it like Sammy Classic Sonic fan. But that's but that's not what we do, right? That's not what we do. Yeah, rabid fan bases are not my problem. It's it's um, it, it's it's the, it was the sheer amount of people talking about it that then solidified. You know what? I wasn't too sure about this game to begin with. And now I'm really not sure because everybody won't shut up about it. So if I wasn't going to enjoy it as much as everybody else to begin with because I knew it wasn't going to be my kind of game, then everybody disregarding that and then telling me to play it anyway is not making me feel too good about myself and I won't do it. So that's that's my logic. I'm going to stop explaining myself because this stream has been more about Undertale than fucking Spongebob. All kids rescued. I mean, if you want to say rescued, that's that's a bold claim. Thank you so much, So Tulip, for the resubscription. New shit, different day, says Damien Castaway. Um, and we've got 100 bits from Harper Onions. It's Spindly Billy Rehydraulics. Yes, it My is. Hero, you've saved the children. <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward. Are people pulling them out of their asses? Where are they getting all these golden spatulas from? Thanks, Mrs. Pump. I hope to see that lump. My pump. My pump. My pump. My pump. My lovely Mrs. Pump. I don't know the words of that song. I just remember it being shit. Damon Castaway, 200 bits. I have returned with my last bits. There you go. Hope I haven't been a bit of a problem today. No, you're, in fact, if anything, you're too nice. And that in itself is a problem. So, yeah, you're right. You are a problem. Sorry. Oh, fucking hell. SpongeBob. No. I thought I could jump on them. Apparently not. Pump up the jam. <laughs> Okay, now we've got another bus stop. So what does this mean? SpongeBob. Oh, I hey. You were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. Of course they did. They also put a meat robot and um, someone on the left who doesn't want to live anymore. If I had a castle. I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. <laughs> this is the problem when when you write stupid videos. I read that as if I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big cock sale every Monday. That's how I read that. Um, the golden spatula. Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right? That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Oh, I will. Because what else am I going to do, eh? Oh. Ah, that's a sneaky, cheeky, quick, sneaky peek of the squeak. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? There we go. Open that up. I was about to blow all of them up. Okay, these must be able to be destroyed, surely. No? No. Oh, it's an Atari 2600 controller and a dildo. Oh, that was close. 
There we go there. I also really like how the collectibles in these things, like in, in the tiki statues that you blow up, I like how they float towards you. Stops you from having to worry. That's what they do in Crash 4. It stops you having to worry about collecting them. They do that in Enter the Gungeon as well, which I really, ma I, pr I prefer that over um, the way Binding of Isaac does it, actually. I'm going to be Patrick because aside from one optional thing, I don't think we've needed Patrick for anything. Yeah, yeah, taste my belly button grease. Let's go. Right, how do we sort you out? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, no, we're gonna sink. Okay, this is bad. Oh, okay, we've got a, have we got a rush? What the fuck? Okay. Well, I'm gonna be SpongeBob then because you're a, you're a, you're a slow, slow, miserable fuck you are, Patrick. So I'm gonna use SpongeBob. SpongeBob the square of pant. Right, let's try this again. Thanks for the stream, Kelly. I'm getting off now, but I'll see you on Friday, says Infam with 100 bits. Thank you so much for coming down again, Infam. Nice to see you. Right, let's run. Or as fast as we can. Anyway. Okay. Uh, surely it's got to stop at some point. Surely the water has got to stop rising at some point. Yeah, now. Good. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> The water stopped rising. Didn't stop me from falling the fuck down. Okay, right, let's try that again. Oh, fuck. Okay, right. Right, they fall quick. They, they actually fall really fast, in all fairness. Like, you have to jump the second you land on those fuckers. Oh, I need Patrick. Of course I do. Mm. So how do I get back down, then? Or is this water contained to this sandcastle? Fucking hell, I can't believe I saved myself there. Jeez. So is it just going up and down, up and down, up and... Oh, it is. Okay, right. Let's try that again. Oi. Kaboom. Right, let's have a little journey along here. Right, I understand. Okay, so the idea... Oh, fuck. So the idea is you smack this switch to get through here, switch your character out, then activate the... um, Activate the water again so we can get back up there. Oh, no, we don't need to do that, do we? Or maybe that is what we need to do. Is the water rising? Yeah, it is. Okay. This is going to be quite difficult because he's not the fastest. Okay, right. Let's go. Right. How are we going to do this exactly? I guess the idea is um, taking the ice cube plant, freezing the water, and then... Um, Moving the bouncy belly man over there. Hmm. I'm not sure. There's a reason we've got to do this, though. I'll wait for it to go back to its original level again, and we'll see what we'll see. What we'll, we'll revisit the situation. How's the chat doing? Yeah, Ink Block Cartoons just said it. Water's not high enough. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's timed. Oh, wow. Okay, so we need to then reset the whole... Ah, got you. Wait for the door to close, I think. I think. 
I hope. There we go. Right, let's try again. Right, just run, 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 Patrick. Run as fast as your little stumps can carry. <laughs> okay, don't fanny around. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Throw, 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 throw. Can I make it? Awesome. And I might be able to get back onto the fucking... Yeah, that's where I was originally. Kick ass. Right. Uh, now where? Okay, we've got to go along the wall of the sandcastle. Okay, that's fine. This is such a cool... You. This is a... For, for, for like... I know Spongebob is very tropical and everything, but I'm surprised at the variety they're getting, not just out of like visuals, but level design. Like, this is a cool idea. I really like this idea of like giant sandcastle fills up with water for one challenge. Go go on the walls of it for another challenge. I really like the imagination they have. Right now, should I jump down there or is that a massive mistake? I'm not really sure. Uh, no, I'll, I'll get to the top of the sandcastle first. Jeez, that was close. Right. I wonder how we... Ah, oh, right. So that's how. That's what we do with the ice flower, I suppose. It is a guess. I, I'm not really sure. Okay, anything down here? Yep. Some shiny objects. And the man who wants to end his own life. There we go. Yeah. Right, so, okay, so that's that's the entrance to another section of the level, so what we are going to do then in that case is continue along and see what else we can find in this section. I don't know if it's Spongebob or Patrick I'm going to need up here, but, oh, wow, that was fun. Ah, I'll go boom. Right, okay, in which case, I'm going to head down. Um, down, down, down. It'd be nice if there was a cardboard box up here. I don't think there is, which is kind of irritating. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to go through the... Yeah, I'm going to have to do it again, aren't I? Thank you for the 100 bits, Zen Yugi. Hi, Caddy. What do you think of physical game collecting nowadays? Do you st still collect PS1 games in 2020? Any single, like most of the PS1 games that you see in my videos now are ones that I've recently bought. Like a lot of the games I cover, like lots of those baby games, I didn't have most of them. So yeah, I do still collect them. Especially PS1 though, it's mostly PS1 shit I collect. And um, when it comes to new games, if there's exclusives for um, PS4, then I obviously get the physical editions of them. But m anything else, if it's multi-platform, I need to go back up, don't I? Yeah, if it's multi-platform, then I will go for the... I will opt for the PC version. Well, that was a shortcut. I don't know why I didn't do that before. I don't think... No, it doesn't rise the water over there, so this must be a... Wait, what the hell am I doing? What am I actually doing? I, 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 why did I quit? Why did I go all the way back to the beginning? I should have just gone along the wall and jumped off the edge when I needed to. I'm such a moron. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know if this is a wise idea, but I'm going to give it a shot. I did it. Hmm. So pay shiny objects. That was good timing on the donation. Thanks, Jam946, for the $5. Greetings from South Africa, Caddy. Oh, I think this is the first South African message I've read, unless I'm 
completely mistaken. I don't know. That's that's that's. Well, if I'm if that if I am mistaken, I'm incredibly sorry. Um, well, geez, my videos go that far out. That's crazy. I love that your videos. Ever since I discovered you through your review of my favorite game, Horizon Zero Dawn, a very weird place to discover me, considering that's not the main kind of content I do, and those videos didn't get barely any views compared to the thing I'm famous for. So that's crazy. Awesome. I then proceeded to watch all 13 seasons of Cat Icarus and was thoroughly entertained throughout. I'm glad. Thank you so much, dude. Harper Onions, 100 bits. So we have Spindly Billy, Fat Pat, Mrs. Mrs. Pump, and Mr. Craps. Yes, we do, yeah. And thanks, Blakeup115, for the subscription. Right, this takes us back to the beginning. Okay, right. Let's go along this dangerous looking platforming segment then. Oh, honey, you know the Lego dragon at Legoland? Yeah. You know the, like, the, the roller coaster dragon? Yeah. That's, that looks like the baby dragon, doesn't it? Don't you think? Okay, these bouncy? No, they're not. And amazingly, despite Patrick's frame, they are still floating. Okay, now these are red, which must mean they're gonna bounce. No, okay, they're just red. They're just, they're just pretty, that's all. There we go. Spatula for us. Just in time for tea. Right, let's go again. Boing. 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 Seems to be more like I'm just keeping an eye on the um the stream output. It seems to be more stable than it was the other the, it was yesterday, so that's something. It is still dropping into 30 every couple of minutes, which is random as fuck, but it is it is doing okay. But actually the chat could answer me this. If anybody got this game on um like um uh PS4, Xbox One or anything, I know the Switch version doesn't run as and look or look as nice as this, but I'm curious for everyone everyone else. Does the game look as good as this on other systems? Does it run as smooth as this? I am curious. It apparently does, according to Pies of Tasty. It runs in the 50 to 60 range. Switch version is ass. <laughs> Any multi-platform game that also gets a Switch counterpoint is gonna not be that great. I, I'm, I'm willing to look past the downgrade. As long as it runs smoothly, I can look past down a visual downgrade. Because that's what Vita did a lot with its ports. It took the visuals down, but they, but the games ran really nicely. Like Mortal Kombat 10... Um, or not sorry Mortal Kombat 9 I think it was on the Vita is um Jesus yeah that's um it looks very bad but it runs really smoothly and that's all I can really hope for because the thing is you're trading you're trading power for portability and I think that's fine especially for the price of the thing as well. I know I know, I've always said that the switch is overpriced just in in general um yeah, I think Amy, yeah, she's trying to save up for a Switch Lite, bless her, Amy, at the moment. She's not doing, she's doing good, but she's not coping very well. But, um, yeah, I've always said that they're overpriced, but when you think about what you're actually getting, it's, it's not that expensive, like, compared to getting, like, a portable gaming laptop or something. Hey, right, so Gary's over there. We've opened a box. Does this take us anywhere? No? Hello. Hello. Okay, right. I'm assuming we're gonna need... Well, if Gary's there, that means there's gonna be dialogue with Spongebob, I assume. Let's find out. Hello, Gary. Yeah. What's new? I like that. I like how characters will have specific conversations. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Ow. Is it weird to think that that's Spyro? <laughs> Because it is. Wow. SpongeBob. Yeah, huh? He's been Spyro since Spyro 2. And in the Reignited Trilogy. Tom Kenny. Who you spotted in um, Crash of the Titans as well. Because there were those um, little minions and they sounded like SpongeBob. And you're like, is that, is that, is that SpongeBob's voice actor? 
Yeah, so we had we had Spyro's voice actor in a Crash game, which didn't have Clancy Brown as Cortex in it, who are both in SpongeBob. Like, you get your head around that. Got it on PC and it looks pretty much the same. Oh, oh, oh Harper Onions, I was asking for console ports. That's what I was interested in. But thank you for letting me know. Oh god, that's falling. It was falling. I wasn't ready for the fall. What am I, a fall guy? Oh, damn. SpongeBob got burned in the bum bum. Oh god. Oh no, not rising water again. Fuck. Um. Okay, hopefully this isn't quite as... So... Okay, we need to do one area at a time, don't we? Can I make that jump? Yeah, I can. Oh, Quabec Jr., thank you for the bits. I sent you bits earlier in pieces just saying you've helped me through a lot and that Patrick is Papu Papu and Squidward um, can spray with nitrous... can get sprayed with nitrous oxide. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry I missed the bits there. I only get alerted for 50 plus, so I'm, I'm really sorry I missed them. I get quite a lot of shit to catch up with in the chat and stuff, but thank you so much. And I'm glad that in some tiny little minuscule way I'm able to help out anybody that needs a mental hand. And I mean that in mental health, not mental as in insane. Oh, fuck off. Not you, game. <laughs> the game can fuck off. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, that's from the movie, isn't it? You know, the, you know the movie better than me. I'm ready, I'm ready. That's the movie, isn't it? I died again. Yeah, I know you said it was I'm ready for promotion. Yeah, I heard you. It sounded like bananas in pajamas. Do you remember that show? Yeah, it was the worst thing on TV. <laughs> Anyone in the UK was traumatized by bananas in pajamas? Yeah. <laughs> Looking butt plug one and butt plug two. Oh my god, what a horrible show. I used to love it as a kid. I don't know why. Yeah, I did. I had um, that rat character. I had a massive talking doll of him. I got him from Bista Village. Thanks for the $5 donation, Davmas. Hi, Kelly. I've been there since 2012 and liking every video since then. Thank you so much. I hope you and your loved ones are doing all right. We are. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm watching you with my wife and my son. Cheers from Montreal, Canada. Oh, God. Sorry for all of the inappropriate jokes. <laughs> 100 bits. Classy one. Uh, thank you so much. Hey, Kelly. I'm afraid I've got to go, but thank you for keeping me thoroughly entertained tonight and over the years. All the best to you, Karis and the family. See you on Friday. Oh, and we've been raided by Slam Bolts with four Banookas. Come on, everyone. You know what to do. Spam that chat. With as many emote Like, your favorite caddy emote. Sp spam it away. I've got quite a few favorites, I've got to be honest. No, like Stan. I like Stan. Like, I like Stan, and I like um, Spindly Johnny, and I like... Oh, yeah, there's a load. Right, so we have a watermelon there. I don't know what the significance of that watermelon is. I've got to be honest. I can't see where I would immediately need that watermelon. I've got to be honest. Hmm. Maybe it'll... I don't know. Weird. Ugh. 50 bits from Quebec. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. This will be easier. Oh, th thank you. <laughs> and my fiance love watching the videos and find them hilarious. I had to stand outside for a bit. I was laughing at your jokes. I bought both the Crash Remix and Spyro because of you. I'm glad. Thank you so much. And be careful when you step outside because if you're too busy laughing at me, you might get sunburned. So if you're gonna if you're gonna laugh too much at what I do, make sure you're indoors and nice and cool. I don't know why that watermelon. I really don't know. Um, I'm sure it will make itself clear. You've just met the sponginator. I didn't realize you could knock enemies into other enemies. That's a pretty cool mechanic. Right, how are we supposed to do this exactly? Okay, water's going down. Great. Yeah, that, that he just blew up. I didn't. I didn't knock him into anybody. That was weird. Hmm, okay. Maybe it's when other enemies are closer to each other? I'm not sure. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Thanks for the 100 bits, Harper Onions. 
Um, the bananas are voiced by Dick and Dom in the new CGI remake. There's a CGI remake? I didn't know this. Oh, that sounds nasty. That sounds putrid. Ugh. Like it's worse enough in live action. The theme tune used to scare me though, I can tell you that much. I hated the intro. Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Anything, anything, you cannot make anything sound cute or whimsical if it's, if you follow it with, are coming down the stairs. Like, what were they doing upstairs? Where are your parents? Nah, no, I don't buy it. They're not in bed. They, 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 they killed your parents and you're using their skin as a disguise. They're coming down the stairs. Bananas in pajamas have stolen your mum's hair. <laughs> Yet Great Yama, scarier than Funny Bones. No, scarier than the intro of Funny Bones, I have to make that clear. That used to scare me. Um, Jam946, $10 donation, thank you so much. I just wanted to say thank you so much for your videos. Along with this pandemic, I also recently lost my dad to cancer, but then I discovered your Caddy Place channel has really helped me bring a smile back for me when I've had very little to smile about. God damn, I'm, I do not know what to say about that. I'm extremely sorry to hear about that. And I'm sorry if there's a bit of like mood whiplash, um, because obviously my streams are quite silly and then you read something serious and then, yeah, you, it's gonna, there is gonna be a bit of whiplash, but I'm so fucking sorry to hear about that. Um, yeah, been there, been there before when it comes to cancer and stuff like that. It fucking blows, and the pandemic has not made things any easier. Incredibly, incredibly sorry for you. So, with that being said, with that being said, like, do not feel even the even if you want to thank, just 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 you watching is enough of a thank you. I don't need the donation. It's really, really kind of you to do that. Um, but just do not feel obliged. Because sometimes there are things that are a little bit more pressing. And you don't you don't need to, to do anything like that to prove anything to me. It's totally cool. All I can say to you, dude, is you you got this. I'm gonna still be here for any kind of tiny little pick-me-up. And that's all I can say. I, I really, really hope you're okay, dude. Okay, so let's continue where we were. Can we get back up here from here? Yes, we can. Sweet. Right. Oh, that was really close. That was a bad place to stand. Okay, right. Let's do this. Okay, the shadows aren't working very well. They're kind of disappearing until the last... Look, there's not even a shadow there. They, they're not appearing until the last second. See? That's a bit distracting. Okay, let's see what this watermelon shit's all about. What happens if I pick it up? I gotta throw it at something? Throw it at the jellyfish? Hmm. It's got to be here for a reason, right? I don't know. Interesting. There has to be a reason. I'm going to look I'm going to keep looking around and see if I can find something. Can you throw things up? No, okay. I I don't know. I actually I don't think I don't know. There's nothing. I can try and take it this way. If I can't throw it to any lower platform, then this was a waste of time. No, it won't let me throw down. Okay. I don't know then. Let's just carry on. Okay, on top of the um, Pop-Tart there. Now, we've got an ice cube here. 
and an exit. So let's freeze this and see what happens. There must be something I can do around here. I don't know what, though. Is there anything obviously hidden above the water that I'm going to need to free? Ah, ha, ha, found you. There's the sock. Thought you could hide from me. Well, I checked all the drawers, so I found you. Right, let's do that again. I wonder if there's anything else. I'm hoping this is the only thing. He's <laughs> so happy. Pretty sure that's it. Um, annoyingly, there's no way to tell. Um, Goo Lagoon, 7 out of 11. Uh, there's no way to see, like, for each subsection, so... Well, there's quite a few more levels I haven't done yet. SpongeBob's Dream? That's gonna be fun. Rock Bottom. I remember Rock Bottom. God, there's a load of places to go. Okay. Okay, I'm actually gonna ask the um I'm actually gonna ask the chat here. Is there anything else in this area that I'm gonna need this ice cube for? Because I don't wanna waste everyone's time. I just wanna get on with shit. Do you know if there's any do you know if there's anything else that I need to grab? I'm gonna take a drink. No, I don't think so. Thank you, DM Cruis. Thank you, Pie So Tasty. Thank you so much, Platinum Warstar. Pickle Party, you are reading my username. Very, 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 very kind of you. I'm going to take this with me as a souvenir. Oh. Oh, look, we're back down to 30 FPS again. Oh, this fucking stream. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up myself. That's going to be my, my homework for tonight. Working out what the fuck that is all about. Yeah, I'm with you there, dude. Right, is he going to talk to Patrick? But the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. <laughs> hey, I'm Mr. Krabs. How do I say money? Money. You help me get rid of that no good robot. No, oh, I, I can't. I'm sorry. It's not right. Um, I'm going to switch to SpongeBob. But the, the annoying thing is that if I could, like, I can't even t decide what frame rate to run the display capture at. I can't decide how fast I want this display capture to run. It just runs as fast as it possibly can. So even if, like, it wouldn't be as bad if you could tell, um... Am I smacking this? Now the problem is I don't know. Because I, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. Because I hate Mr. Krabs. I think I've got to throw one, a watermelon at them. I think I've got to be a Patrick. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, if I started the stream at 30, nobody would probably... I mean, The Last of Us Part 2 ran at 30. So nobody would notice if it started. But it's the fact that it's flipping back and forward that's really bad. Yeah, that's probably... Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's Jaws. Jaws is coming. Okay, no, it's all right. Nice. Right, let's carry on then. I'm going to grab that as well. Oh. Bye. <laughs> oh, let's just carry on. Fuck it. Um, you were duplicating. Well, that makes things way easier. Okay, right. So I'm going to wager a guess that there's something down there. Because what's the point of having a Ferris wheel if it doesn't take you somewhere important? Hmm. 
No, I think it's just there for show. I actually don't think it's here for any reason at all. You can move them. That doesn't do anything. Aside from getting all of the shiny objects. Eat every five of them. No, I don't think this is for anything. Okay, alright. Weird. Why is it here then? I know we knocked it down, but like... If it's not gonna... It's not, a, it's not a contributing to anything. It's just there, so... Oh, God. Man, maybe I'm going to miss something and then I'm going to slap myself. I don't know. Maybe I should belly flop them, see what happens. No, that didn't do shit. Okay, that's fine. Back up we go. Thank you, Bay, Le um, Bay XLR, for the 100 bits. Now, as far as for a game I personally recommend you trying out, I would give high praise to What Remains of Edith Finch. Um, you do not need to recommend it. That's a fantastic game. The story in that game is one of the best stories I've ever experienced in a video game. It's, yeah, that's a great game. I reviewed it once. Yeah, I reviewed it, and I think, like, I, don't, I, think, I, I think I just was, I don't know. There was something about it that it didn't 100% work for me. I can't remember what it was. I think it might have been something to do with, um... How the gameplay was structured, like sometimes it was incredibly linear, sometimes it was open, you know. Um, I can't remember, there was something, I did review it and I don't remember exactly what I said. I, I think it was a Christmas, I, I, like I played a massive load of games over Christmas in like 2017. And I was like, oh, I, like let's come back into New Year and talk about all the games that I played during Christmas. And I think, yeah, I did review it, I just don't remember what I thought about it. I think I, li I, I, lo I, no, I loved it, but I don't remember what I had a problem with it. If I if I revisited it, I might I might be able to remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it. How many of these do I have to carry? Woo, up we go. Hey, there we go. Have you looked behind the wheel, says Harper Onions, the 100 bits. You know what? I did not look behind the onion. The wheel! Your name is Onion. Fuck my ass. Nightclub13, thank you so much for the subscription. And I talk Fortnite, subscribe. Thank you so much. I don't talk Fortnite, so I'm glad that you do. Uh, nope, there's shit all down there. There is nothing down there. What a weird thing to... I mean, I know it's a carnival, but weird. How the hell do we get in there? I'm sure, it'll, I'm sure we'll figure that out as we go along. Oh, there's a spatula down there. Oh, watch out. You're interrupting her business. Yay! Now she gets more cockety-cock-cock. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just said cockety cock cock and then Patrick said I'm a hard as a rock. Oh my fucking god. The game is reading my mind. This is ridiculous. Okay, right. Eat my juice, eat my juice. Oh, stop fondling me with your stupid little wiggly fingers. Oi, kid. <laughs> I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Okay, let's have a look here. Is this just is this just a fun ride? Can I stand on these? I, I can. Wow, they hurt. They hurt. Okay. Can I break them? Nope. Okay. So this is just a fun, fun, fun ride. Okay. Thank you so much, Adridge Ted Z, for the subscription. Damien Castaway back at it with 500 bits. Damn, Damien. <laughs> Sorry, I won't say that ever again. Um, Patrick wants to see your bikini bottom. No, Patrick has a bikini in his bottom. I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, okay, how do we get underneath there is my question, where that golden spatula is. Mm. Teacup madness. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it madness. It's, it's five of them. That's much better. Right, um... I'm guessing we'll have to start, like, over there somewhere. Oh, fuck. How the hell are we supposed to get that? Is this a case of... Can you double jump at the very last possible second? You can. Right. Okay. This is a risky thing to try, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay. Right. Let's give this a, let's give this a go. 
Oh, okay, it's quite low. No, you need to... Okay, something. there's something odd about that. You you can't actually grab it. It won't let you. It's cold cock, says Harper Onions. 100 bits. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a clam up there. Probably what I need to grab that spatula, I'm going to assume. Oh, fuck you and your stupid arms. Right. Let's continue then. Sponge. Oh, oh, not the bubble bowling. The infamously most difficult bit of the whole game. Because every time you try to roll the ball, SpongeBob tiptoes forward, making it impossible to uh, bowl things into objects which need switches to open. Because when you bowl the ball, SpongeBob moves forward off the switch. Yeah, maybe that's because you should be. Standing a bit further back Maybe Or maybe not standing on it in the first place And then bowling onto the switch So that by the time the bowling ball is being bowled It then goes through Because you're tiptoeing onto the switch I don't know, call me crazy Hmm Oh I see Oh god damn This is going to be difficult Okay right, we need to get rid of you You're, you're going to break, yeah We need to get past all these guys Without being hit. No. Fucking hell, that was difficult. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Socks for Patrick. Yeah, I think when you're near something that's destructible, I mean, instead of just blowing the robots up straight away, I think it actually does home target them, which is quite cool. Prizes games, my favourite thing at the fair. Oh, that looks like a slide to me. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Oh shit, I can't do that, can I? Fuck. Oh god, I died on a roller coaster. I'm sure, I'm not the first. Sweet Tooth Two Hundred One, a hundred bit cheer. Hello, Caddy. My name is Pat Butt. Oh, my name's Asda Price. <laughs> that was full of bottom patting. Do you know they stopped doing that? Yeah, it was kind of weird. That's Asda Price. Oh, who are you sh sh shaking your fucking ass at? I'm not furthering your creepy agenda. Was it supposed to be like, oh, because you're saving money? Was that the whole... Right, so that's where your change was in your back pocket. Who keeps their change in their back pocket? If you sit on a seat, you lose all of it. It's just so that the, it's... Uh, no, I'm not taking... No, they did that just so that they had an excuse because nobody keeps change. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they never... No one ever keeps change in their back pocket, right? So they did that in the Asda ads so that they had an excuse to smack their bums. And it was always women. And they... they I wouldn't mind as much, but they were quite frumpy. They, were, they, they weren't mummies. They were grandparents. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody. Like, if anyone wants to see that, they can go and get, like, you know, Calendar Girls, you know, they can, you can, you can look for that stuff yourself, right? But if you're watching TV and it's advertised to you, it's like, well, now I don't want to have any of your fruit, fresh fruit and veg because now I know where your hands have been. On your nanny butt. I don't, I don't want that shit. I'm not looking deep into anything. Someone had to come up with these ideas. Right now, is there a secret around here? I feel like this is... Oh. That didn't do much at all, did it? Is that it? Was that really it? Okay. Okay, I'm going to switch over to Spinge Ball. Where is a uh, bus stop? Down there. No, that's not a bus stop. Fuck, where's the bus stop? It's over... Th oh, it's over there. Okay, right, I've got to go back up. Thank you so much, Jam946, for the $10 donation. You're being way too kind. Thank you. 
Last message. Your playthrough of FF7 Remake was so enjoyable to watch that I ended up replaying the game while I watched you play at the same time. I hope you, Karis, Amy, and Phoebe, sorry if I spelt any of their names wrong. No, you did not. Um, continue to stay beautiful. I'll let Chloe know that you don't care. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, yeah, we're doing good. Thank you. That's really, really kind of you. Sorry. No, I, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. I'm no, I'm not. I'm. I. I don't. It's fine. Uh, just, just, uh, just. Sorry. Now I feel bad. I, I, I find I feel bad for making that joke. Now I'm sorry. Yeah. No, she'll find it funny. It's fine. No, I, I was, just, I was just making a gag. It's fine. No one's actually upset. It's fine. She doesn't do anything on the videos. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. I, I don't blame anybody for not realizing. Boing. Right, let's do the um bungee jump. What's up here? Oh. Why? Why does that go? Where is this taking me? <laughs> I don't like this. Where's this? It does look like a condom. Everything everything here is really weirdly, overtly sexual. So does it... No? Why does it stop? What? Why does it go here? Like, I, I'm, I just jumped down earlier. I didn't need to gradually lift myself down. So, okay, so just then, I, I, when you're in the air... Okay, this is, this is a, a big um, control problem. Look, when you're standing still... You can look down, look up, down, all around. It's great. But as soon as you land on one of these, you can't move the camera up or down. The camera's locked. So if you're on like a platforming thing and you need to judge distance, you have to make sure that you're already pointing a little bit down before you jump up. And then you've got a better view of what the hell you're doing. Like that's a really weird, I don't know if it's a bug or something, but it's very weird. Oh, that's how we get the spatula. Oh, that makes sense. And I can't get any of them anyway, so fuck it. Thank you so much for the 198 bits, Damien. Thoughts on Dingadar being playable in the upcoming Crash title? Cannot fucking wait. But that's it. I'll save my thoughts for when I'm playing. And 300 bits again. Caddy tried the slide ride but cried inside as he watched Patrick die. Yeah, I did. Except I don't cry on the outside. I cry on the inside. Oh no, you said inside. No, I cry on the outside. Is there anything here that I can do that... It feels like there should be something going on here. I don't know. It just... It, I don't know. That doesn't feel right. I mean, I'm happy to just accept it as just a fun little distraction, but it is very weird. Well, I got them at least. Alright, anything around here? Anything up here? Ah, there's a there's a sneaky peek. I found it. A quick cheeky sneaky peek of the squeak. What the hell was that doing there? Who puts a sock on top of a carnival tent? Oh, Zarachi's playing Fall Guys right now. So you can ask him if he's playing it. That will annoy him. M Glitch five dollars. Thank you so much, Caddy. I'm very upset with you. You forgot to win me a prize from the prizes gate from the prizes game game. You better win me a big plush seahorse named Mystery or I'm eating a salad made of seaweed. And to be honest, that sounds more fun than actually doing that for you. So yeah, you go ahead and eat that seaweed. I don't care. Right, come on, Patrick. We need your lumbering muscles to hit this one switch. What? I'm playing as Patrick and doing what, honey? Collecting pants as Patrick. What's weird about that? Oh, I can't say. Because <laughs> otherwise, if they find out, then... Yeah, I can't say. And that's going to be the most ominous thing that anyone has ever heard me say in a stream. But if I... Even if I told you the context and didn't tell you exactly what it meant or what it was about, then, um... Then they would still figure out what it meant, so I can't actually say anything. Thanks, honey. <laughs> It's nothing bad, don't worry. It's just a little inside joke that we have in this family, but it's only for this family. <laughs> because if anyone actually found out what this, what it was about... I, I can't, if I said what it was about, then the name has already been given away, so I actually can't say. <laughs> it's about somebody we know with that name 
and pants. That's all I can say. <laughs> but I can't say I can't say who it is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I don't want to do that just yet. No, 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 no. I want to. I want to. Yeah, I want to freeze the ocean. That's what I want to do. All right, honey. <laughs> Keris is wheezing. What's the cute? How do I fix it? How do I fix the wheezing? I want a new girlfriend. Can I take this one back? <laughs> I brought it home and it started wheezing. Is this normal? <laughs> Three stars. Right, down here, Pat. Let's go. Right, so this is how we get that spatula. Right. Wow, that is a powerful fucking ice cube. No! <laughs> right, does it does it stay on the surface or does it re yeah, it re goes. Bit weird, not gonna question it though. Because it's useful for me. Right, I'm looking over there. Is there anything else that I could grab? I'm thinking yeah, I mean I, I know it's a collectathon, so they would hide shit very cleverly. But I'm still gonna think it is a SpongeBob game for kids, so they can't be that cruel. Like, like, Mario 64 can be difficult, but it's not cruel. Like, it doesn't hide things in impossible places or anything like that. KD Knight 12 in the chat says, We love you, Keris. Oh, shut up, Siri. What the hell are you talking about? Um, KD Knight in the chat said, Hi. Oh, hi. And Simon Vegeta said, Try the reset button. Okay, let's grab the watermelon. And before the timer runs out, look at that. I was gonna say it's gonna have to load, isn't it? Yeah, we're going for a, we're going for a different area. Oh, blow up my watermelon! Why don't you? Hmm. What have you found? Oh, wow, honey. Your island looks so much better than mine. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but I've, I know, yeah, but as I keep explaining, it's got nothing to do with time. I just, I haven't got the imagination that you do with that kind of stuff. Right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, guys. So we've got to jump up here, I guess. Oh. Ah. Uh... How do I get back? Guys, help me. Uh, how do I get back? Oh, fuck. Does the does the cardboard box take me back? Uh, oh, no. Oh. How do... Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. Yeah, everyone in the chat is now spamming. Yeah, no, thank you guys. Thanks, yeah. Yeah, F in the chat, yes. No one died, though. It only applies to someone who dies. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, I'm confused. What's going on? Wait, 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 wait. So it started. Oh, I missed that. Well, how do I turn that one? I'm really confused. What is? Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm very disorientated. What's going on? No, fuck you. Oh, geez, SpongeBob, get away from me. Right, so how do I change this one then? Unless I've gone completely the wrong way. I have gone completely the wrong way. This should be facing this way, shouldn't it? Oh my lord. No, it shouldn't. 
What? I'm very confused right now. So that's where it starts. I, th I didn't realize that's what I thought it started there. So this is the one I need to swap. This is the one I need to change. I thought I'd already done this one though. Well, I guess I didn't. I thought I swear I did. I swear I did. Okay. Clearly I didn't. Fuck it. Let's do some dangerous platforming. Fresh like a spring breeze. You pretty can't take it. Yeah. Thank you so much for the um, 100 bits, Damien, again. Have you tried turning on her Wi-Fi function? It helps me fix the wheezing issues. Uh, 100 bits from Sweet Tooth 101 Hey, Caddy, ever played the Rugrats Adventure game on PC? you got to hit Fanny with a pie. <laughs> well, that's, that's enough for me to play it. No, I never played it. I didn't know there was one. I only played the ones on PS1. And a little bit of Royal Ransom, but I don't remember liking that one that much. Well, that makes ten times more sense. I was so confused there. Right, okay, let's carry on. There we go. Problem solved. And I guess that's it. I guess, I guess we're done. We, there's nothing else we can do around here. Does that, mean, does that mean I got everything here? Oh, I didn't do that. And I'm missing one sock. That is incredibly annoying. At least you can just get the taxi straight to the mission. That's, that's good. Oh, God, we're in 30 FPS again. Oh, fucking hell. There we go. Problem solved. Um, so there's a sock somewhere. I don't know where the hell this sock is. I'm just trying to think. Would any area have this sock? Where would it be if it was anywhere? Okay, well... Okay, well, I'll go... <laughs> I like this system. This is this is nice. Congratulations, SpongeBob. You're king of the beach. Oh, apparently, um... Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't looking for the spatula, guys. I was looking for the sock. I was gonna say, like, everybody was saying talk to the red guy. Yeah, no, I knew I needed to do that. I just didn't know where where the last sock was. Oh, thanks, Simon Vegeta, for the, um... Oh, cave area. KD Knight, I got one in the cave area by freezing the water. So if that's the one you're thinking of, that ain't the one. Um... You'll get the sock from the ski. The ski? The s the ski? The upper level in the cave area? Pretty sure I did. Well, I'm afraid since it is a 100% run, I have to figure out where this is. Um, over the moat, through the sea caves. Let's go back to the caves just to see. Anything secret? I thought I had this one. I thought I had this one set. Platinum Warp Star. Sorry, should I stop reminding you when it's 30 FPS? I don't know when to get on your... Oh, no, look. I can't control what it's doing. Like, it's just being annoying. Oh, it's the meme over there as well. Oh. Yeah, the, the air is very twinkly. Um, okay, let's see if I can... I need to switch out characters anyway, just in case it is the ice. So I'll switch out characters. 
Oh fuck. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have a, I'll, I'll, I'll have a further look around here because I think I rushed through here. All right, there's nothing there. Anything around here? Oh shit, water's rising, water's rising, water's rising. Oh, oh! Okay, there's a carnival game apparently, is there? Thanks chat for helping me, but I didn't realize that's what we had to do. Okay, um, okay, cool. Oh, the, yeah, I forgot I needed the bowling thing. Oh, well, then I did find everything then. I'm an idiot. Right, let's go back then. Jesus Christ. Thanks for helping me, guys, but I completely forgot that I, yeah, I do need the bowling ball, which I can't do. But that must be what it is, because I can't I can't think of anything else it could possibly be. I'll come, uh, where, all the things we miss, we'll do another stream or something and come back and find the remaining things. Oh, sorry, I missed your donation there, Jam946. Thank you so much for the $5. This is my actual last message as I'm buggering off to sleep now. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you missed this. But thank you so much for the kind words and a good laugh. I'm so sorry for forgetting about them. <laughs> don't worry, I was only kidding. I hope Chloe and Stan, I think that's everyone, also continue to stay beautiful. Oh yeah, what about Evie the cat? You don't really care. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to stop. Thank you. Ah, oh, dearie me. Okay, anyway, I think um, we've done two levels here, so I think that's probably enough for us for today. We've been going for uh, three hours now, so that's that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to figure out how the hell to fix this frame rate po problem. But... Oh, did they? Oh, was that the ripped pants thing? Oh, no. Oh, I'm amazed that his shorts even... Fa <laughs> How are they falling down? Aren't they a bit, aren't they a bit tight? Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Um... Oh wait, boss battle. Sorry. Okay, there's a boss battle. Okay, sweet. Where do we go? Does it, is it here we go? Do we go to the Poseidon? Just let me know. If there's, if it's just one boss, I'll do it. So. There. Poseidon. Yes. Poseidon? Yeah, it's there. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Why not? Just something to close. It might be nice. It's a nice way to close everything off. Oh, it's King Neptune. See, I know him, but I don't know. I know Mrs. Puff. Oh, look, the cutscenes are delayed again. Also weirdly quiet here as well. Oh fuck. Oh, she's after me. Okay, well I was not I was not prepared. I was not prepped. Okay, right. How do we how do we sort this out then? But will he get the drop on the robot? That is an awesome visual gag there. Okay, so... How do we do this? So you hit the floor. Do the thing, come on. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Great well, that's hit detection. What the fuck was that? I don't think the game knows what it's doing here. It's actually not letting me... It's not letting me slam on her head. Oh, it did then. It wasn't letting me slam on her head, but it was slamming next to her. That was really bizarre. Patrick's got a nice grid on his tummy there. Oh, some call me Johnny's raiding us with 203 people, which is incredibly kind, and I love you, John. We are we are on, like, this boss, and then we're stopping, but thank you so much. Very kind of you. In fact, I was looking who was who was live, like, five minutes ago, so I was about to raid you. 
No oh, shit me. I've I've no 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 no. Pat Patrick, you lumbering great oaf. Get over here. You clumsy spotty oaf. Get the fuck over there. Get on her head. And everybody in the chat, raid. No, not raid. Spam. This is jank as hell. What the what is going on? So what do we do with the head then? Oh, we do it there. Okay. We did the head. We did the head. Yeah, it's like it just feels like you make you do a move and then everything falls apart. It doesn't matter where you hit her. It's really weird. So I can slam like yeah, this is this doesn't feel right. This is really weird. I mean, it's working, so I can't complain, but <laughs> I am love I'm loving that fish in the corner. Okay, I'm ready for you again. Come on. The robot's losing its head. <laughs> wow, I've never seen such an electrifying match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Final phase, right? Hey, Wolf Crafter in it. Oh shit, we're moving. Oh, okay, so how do we get through that one then? That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever This is so jank, like It's like I'm not anywhere near her. I'm just I'm just body slamming around her vicinity and then winning. It's really bizarre. Oh, how the hell are you supposed to do that? Hmm, maybe there's like a maybe I gotta do a high jump or something. That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one. Yeah, the lack of sound effects when shit happens as well. It doesn't make you it doesn't make you feel like you're connecting a hit at all. No, I don't know. Very confused. There's the robot's vulnerability. Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it. Hooray! That was very hard. That took me all of five goes. Quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the bubble bowl. Hooray! We get the worst power-up in the game that everyone was reviewing and bitching about! Even though it was the easiest thing in the world. We got it, guys! We got it! Oh, Emil Dubas in the chat says you just need to hit the ground. Oh. Well, that's what I was doing, because I couldn't aim for the helmet, so whatever. It worked. Yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I don't know what he was waiting for. Did he, did he want to kiss? Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the Hmm! Suspicious! Have they? I really have noticed. Uh, yeah. And there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. <laughs> exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the jump bucket. This is great. Thanks, okay. Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Like we did it before already. Okay, right. Oh, hang on. We've got like a new area of the hub world to go through. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, I'll give, I'll buy some, um, I'll buy um, a spatula from, um, from Mr. Krubes. Where is he? Krabs? He's left. He took my golden spatulas and fucked off. What am I supposed to do now? Up for a game of SpongeBob? How do we do it? Oh, it's, okay, right. There's nothing like the smell of bubble. Hmm, I like this move. Smells like victory. Okay. Can't take 
I don't know where he is. Um, I guess I guess he's probably moved to the uh, the overworld expansion bit. I suppose. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a night here. Let's let's find someone to rave, everybody. Oh, talk to Patrick. Okay, I'll do that then quickly. Find someone to rave. Find someone to raid. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. Well, oh, I hadn't spoken to him before. Sure thing, Patrick. But I. Okay then. For every ten socks you oh, oh right. I didn't know that's what they were for. I thought we were just collecting them because we were just. Here's your go I don't. Sp well, that's that's me being a knob. I must have was looking. At, I must have been looking in the chat when they explained that one. Well, here's, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna look in a second. I don't. <laughs> Did you find my lost socks? <laughs> Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Okay, right, yeah, let's let's stop this now. Okay, so I am going to find somebody to raid, and then we will call the stream off. So sorry for all the people that got raided by John and are here now. Um There we go. Let's raid, um... Oh, Stop Skeletons could be could do with some love. Um... Stop Skeletons from fighting. I think that worked. And thank you for all the best wishes on fixing the FPS. I will figure out the problem. Thank you so much for coming down, everybody. Enjoy the raid, everybody. Um, I'll see you all in two days' time. Bye-bye.